BetUS, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. BetUS, where the game begins. What's up, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, with the first Yankee game of the season. For me, anyway. Could the Yankees have got off to a better start? I don't think they could have. 4-0 against the, I don't say the hated Astros, but the rival Astros. Feels good to beat them. That's actually seven wins in a row. Now, the Yankees just got to take care of business. I mean, we just started. But if the Yankees are going to beat the Astros, they got to do it in the postseason, right? I mean, it's nice to win, pre or, uh, nice to win regular season games, but it's nice to win the postseason. So. But the Yankees got off to a great start. A lot of clutch hitting, really good defense. Juan Soto's looked amazing. Anthony Volpe's approach better, pitching good enough. Um, looking forward to doing this. It, it has been a while uh, since I've done a baseball stream, obviously. And I've said this before. These are obviously my least viewed streams of everything I do, but they are definitely some of my favorite. I love the intimate chat. I love calling baseball games. I always have this. As much as I love calling basketball, and I do. I love calling the Lakers. I love calling the Giants. They're a lot of fun. But baseball was my dream as far as, hey, you know, I, I wish I was a baseball announcer. So it gives me an opportunity uh, to do that, which I uh, greatly appreciate of. Uh, yes, we got to do damage in October. That is for sure. And we're on StreamYard tonight because normally, you know, we use uh, OBS. But for the uh, for this, we don't need to use OBS at all. We can just use the StreamYard. We can have this the uh, screen up like this, and it'll take care of itself. Uh and where am I going here? I gotta put this up. Trickster, thank you, bro. Appreciate it. He says, "How do you feel?" I feel great. I mean, like I said, you couldn't have got a, you couldn't have asked for a better start uh, if you were the Yankees. I mean, everything came together. I Austin Wells laid down a bunt. Like they just played fundamental baseball. A lot of patience at the plate. Like I said, Volpe taking the ball to right, not trying to pull everything out of the park. Uh, you've seen good defense. They've, they've played good and they got a lot of clutch hitting timely hitting late in the game. Patient at bats. This lineup is very long. Um, and with the addition of Soto and Verdugo, uh, it's good. I see my guy clouds. Is in. <laughs> what up clouds? What up? Dire giants fan booze, NYG, Anthony Garcia, James Vegas, Irish Rover, Gabriel. Rodriguez, Andrew Babrowitz, Anthony, I got Anthony, Janice, my lady, good to see you, Eddie Vasquez, B. Skrills, what up? I want everybody in this chat, we'll do this again tomorrow when we have a lot more people in here, but today, today's April Fool's Day, well, happy April Fool's Day, everybody, you know, I actually, I don't do it, because I just don't ever do those videos, but I really, there, there was a part of me considering doing a video saying I was done with YouTube and I was going to just uh, not do it anymore. And people were going to all click on it and go, no, bro. And I was going to say, April Fool's, I got you. But I didn't do it. But besides it being April Fool's Day, that doesn't matter. What's important today is it is the legendary, the one and only. It's Dyer Giants fan's birthday. So I want everybody in the chat to wish the legendary Dyer Giants fan a happy birthday. Happy birthday, bro. Hope you had a great birthday. Still a young man. Very young. I don't think he's 30 yet. I think he's getting close to 30, but I don't think he's 30 yet. Uh, but happy birthday, bro. Hope you had a great day. And we'll do it again tomorrow when we got a couple thousand people in there to wish happy birthday. Because, you listen, man, you're good enough. You deserve two birthdays, right? So <laughs> everybody wish him a happy birthday. He's the freaking best. The best, frankly. And um, he's got a little Trump right there because he's, oh, he hit the big 3-0. It's, it's a huge birthday for Dire Giants fan. The 30. Wow, that's a big one, bro. That's a big one. You know what's scary about that? You know what's scary about Dire Giants fan turning 30? I graduated the year he was. <laughs> I graduated high school the year he was born. Uh... <laughs> Tells me how old I am. Wee! I graduated that year. 
Oh my God, this made me feel really old. But uh, Dar Giants, man, you rule, bro. Uh, me, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, really, really. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you, bro. Sup, bad dog. Happy calling the game. Happy birthday, Diard. Yes, I, I definitely want to, like I said, I want to do at least one Yankee game a week. That is my goal. You probably Wednesdays, but if I can get like a Wednesday and Sunday, especially when basketball season's over, especially during the, you know, mid you know, June, July, August, no football, no basketball, at least one Yankee game. There'll be a lot of Yankee videos as well. I've actually thought about doing live post game videos um, for like 20 minutes after games. I definitely want to do some stuff with the Yankees this year. So, uh, but thank you, meet tricksters. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Really, really my friend. Stream more baseball. Hey, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the goal, bro. That is the goal to stream some more baseball. That is the goal. Um, big shout out, of course, to bet us for sponsoring the channel. As always take advantage of the best promo going. And I don't, I don't put the, uh, animated link on here. Cause it, I think it messes with your eyes and somebody told me like it's too much. So I kind of just leave it like this on Streamyard. I don't think it's as bad, but go into the description, click the link in the description, guys and girls. The first thing in there and the promo code join 125 bet us is going to give you a 125% match on your first three deposits of a hundred dollars or more. Not just your initial deposit and not just like it caps you like a hundred dollars, $200. Bet US will give you up to a $2,500 bonus. Okay. They also give you 10% gamblers insurance against all your net losses as long as you stay active every six months. They have great customer service and payouts within 24 hours. Take advantage of the best promo going right now because you can bet on baseball. I don't know how many people bet on baseball. Pete Rose does. And maybe Shohei Otani bets on a little bit of baseball. Maybe Shohei Otani should get a Bet US account. I don't know. Wink, wink. Um, but you can bet on the football draft. You can bet on basketball. You can bet on hockey. You can bet on so many things, right? So you can bet on whatever your little heart desires about you. Trust me when I tell you, there are literally thousands of things to bet on. You can also play casino games, bet on the horses. You can bet on boxing, ice hockey. You can bet on snooker. You can bet on lacrosse. You can bet on cricket. You can bet on different NBA, you know, basketball leagues overseas. Um, so have fun with it. Take advantage of it. But please bet responsibly. Never bet more than you can afford to lose. Uh, Appreciate you guys girls being here without question. Um, so yeah, Gonzo Lutz says I'm 30. You guys are young. You guys are young. I'm 48. So I I I am almost 50. That is just that is just I can't wrap my mind around that. Like I don't feel that old. But so I lie. Some days I do. Some days I <laughs> Some days I definitely, I definitely feel that old. Um, but yeah, it's good. We uh, we got different. You know, we always have our we always have our soundboard, and we definitely have different. We definitely have different. Uh, we have different sounds for this one. We get we got a couple. We got this one here. We we, we want to definitely hear this tonight. <laughs> Do it ease. Couple of these. And of course, ultimately, at the end of the game, we want to hear. Gotta love it. Baseball is back, baby. You gotta love it. Don't worry about it. We still have these, like when John Carlos Stanton strikes out. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. And you know what? Just because it is Dire Giants, uh, it is his birthday, and I know he loves this drop. So let's drop this one for him, baby. It, I mean, you're thirty, right? It's an it's another candle in the cake, and it's a. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's what a birthday is, right? It's just another brick in the wall, right? <laughs> I have a lot more bricks and a lot more candles than you, Tyra Johns. Man. <laughs> but I love you, buddy. You're the best. You are you are the freaking best. You're the man, brother. Um, Irish, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, my friend. Really, really. I, I just I'm so happy to be calling baseball again. I love it, man. Thank you for being a friend. 
So first pitch, I was almost going to say tip off. It's supposed to be 940. We'll see. The game's on yes, uh, obviously, for me. Irish, thank you, bro. He says, happy birthday, die hard. The best mod on YouTube. Brought some Coke Zeros, the little Yankees. And uh, we are actually going to pitch right away. We don't, we don't sit here and screw around um, with this. So let me just scroll this up a little bit. So this is lined up where I want it to be. There we go. And let me give you the Yankee lineup for the Yankees leading off and playing second base, Glaber Torres. Batting second, playing right field, Juan Soto. The center fielder, Aaron Judge, bats third. Clean up and playing first base, Anthony Rizzo. The DH, John Carlos Stanton, bats fifth. Left fielder, Alex Verdugo, will bat sixth. Shortstop, Anthony Volpe, back from the stomach. Gake will bat seventh. And the pitch is outside, and it's called a strike, 0-1. Austin Wells catches and bats eighth, and the third baseman off to a great start. Oswaldo Cabrera will bat ninth. Ryan Nelson on the mound for the D-backs. Glaber hitting 133 on the early season. The pitch is upstairs, and it is one and one. Terry Zing, what up? Kern, what up? Dan, how we doing, buddy? It does feel different. You're right. They have a different feel. Roscoe Sinamor, Spaz out. Rob from downtown. Thank you all for being here. Good slider in there for a strike, and the count is one and two to Gleyber Torres leading off the first for the Yanks. Couldn't get off to a better start. Lake Nona, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. And the right-handed Nelson kicks and deals a one-two, and Gleyber fouls it back, and the count remains one and two. Thank you uh, for the thumbs up, Roscoe. Appreciate you, but how can I be the best when you're the best? Yes, Baz out. I know it's April Fool's Day, bro. You're not going to get me with that. I've been around way too long. I just talked about all the candles in my cake. You got to get up pretty early in the morning to get me on that one. One, two. Glaber swings to a high slider, and he is gone. And one away here for the Yanks. Terry, you don't need to thank me. It's my pleasure to call Yankee baseball. I Like I said, I want to do at least one a week and maybe two a week when we get into June and basketball is all over. And I have more time to do so. But the Yankees, much like the Knicks, the 7 o'clock starts really hurt. So it's hard for me to do the Yankees consistently. The pitch to Soto way upstairs, count 1-0. Juan Soto off to uh, a very good start. He was absolutely on fire in Houston. Saved the game uh, opening day with a uh, throwing out of the uh, batter that pitches upstairs 2 and 0. Oh. And the one thing you like about Juan Soto is the patience. He had 529 in four games. His OPS was 1.365. He had a homer, four RBIs. I mean, there's obviously going to slow down at some point, but great start for Juan Soto, who's everything the Yankees wanted him to be. 2 0 oh, inside 3 and 0. Oh. And you love the patience by Juan Soto, especially with Aaron Judge on deck. That's what makes this Yankee lineup so dangerous. You know, Judge does strike out uh, frequently, but he also walks a lot. So Soto and Judge walk a lot. Going to give a lot of RBI opportunities to Rizzo and Stanton. 3-0, took it right down Broadway, and the count's 3-1. and one. But Stanton and Rizzo will have a really big opportunity to drive in a lot of runs uh, with Soto and Judge ahead of them for the simple fact that they do walk a lot. And think about this, Yankee fans. Think about where the Yankees will be. Uh, when they get Jason Dominguez back. Think about how good Jason Dominguez looked before, you know, getting injured and, and where they could be. It'll be a 3-1 to Soto. Nelson deals, it's inside, and Soto draws a one-out walk. So uh, that'll bring up Aaron Judge with one on and one out. I'm just on away here in Arizona. Appreciate you tuning in, guys and girls. Thanks so much. Val in New York, yes, it was. Mickey, what's going on? Yeah, when we get into baseball season, I may stream a Dodger game here or there because I do play late, but it would have to be on a weekend because I, 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 baseball games this late at night are tough because they end very late. Pitch to Judge, line drive off the glove and in the center field for a base hit. And Judge, who only hit 125, was just 2 out of 16 in Houston, but that's a good approach. Right back up the middle, hit a tracer, and the Yankees have runners it didn't go off the glove. It actually went right by the second baseman. I hit that ball so hard, the second baseman didn't even have an opportunity to move to the right. I was a scorcher. And then I'll bring up Anthony Rizzo. And Anthony Rizzo obviously got off to an amazing start last year. Then he got a concussion. And he was never the same after that. He was 4 for 15. This is how good I am at numbers. I know 267 is 4 for 15. I mean, I just have a... 
I, I'm stupid with these batting uh, averages. Pitch is upstairs, 1-0 and to Rizzo. Yankees have a threat working early on here against Ryan Nelson and the D-backs, first and second. With one out, it'll be a 1-0 here to, and then we're going to have a, oh, that's the manager, the pitching coach. I don't know if something's wrong with Nelson or what. And they're already going out there to look at him, make sure he's okay. Ryan, what up? Thank you for being here. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe, everybody. Appreciate you being here, although most people are here already are subscribed. So hit the thumbs up button anyway. We are just underway here. The Yankees looking to get on the board early. Aaron Boone, I, I always notice his watches because I'm a watch enthusiast myself, and I always notice he has a pretty much a different watch every night. Can't tell what that one is. Of course, I do not have the bankroll Aaron Boone does either, so I really cannot buy the watches that Boone does, but I always notice a nice timepiece. So everything seems to be okay with Nelson. They're going to stick with him here. It'll be a 1-0 to Rizzo. The righty deals. Rizzo takes in the corner for a strike, and the count is 1-1. One one. Yankees are 4-0 and oh and don't sleep on the Diamondbacks. I know they play in Arizona, and they're not really a well-known team. They are 3-1. They made the postseason last year. Anthony Lazza, what up, buddy? Jay not going to be the man, do the man. Ernie Ape would not pitch to Rizzo, fouled away, and the count's 1-2. and two. Anthony Zayas, how we doing? Appreciate y'all hanging out this evening. Soto's start's been amazing, Dyer Giants fan. He's just very patient. You love to see that. You can go get some cheeseburgers over there as they show the Planet Fitness scoreboard. It's funny that there's a cheeseburger place right next to the Planet Fitness scoreboard. They don't seem like they go together. The one-two swung it and fouled away. There's a late and a fastball, but Fought it off and fouled it off. Can't remains one and two. Nelson up to 15 pitches already. Soto at second. He walked. Judge on at first. He singled. Yankees looking to break on top here early on. It's not been their MO. They did get off to the lead the last game in Houston, but the first three, they came back from a deficit. So you notice how Anthony Rizzo is choking up on that bat with two strikes. We're trying to cut down the swing and make contact. He takes outside. Good eye there by Rizzo. The count's even at two and two. And that's what you like about this Yankee lineup so far this year is they have made these pitchers work. Very patient approach at the plate. Pass the baton. Don't try to do too much. 2-2. Two -two. Rizzo fouls it away again on a slider off the plate. And the counter. So Rizzo with a good bat. Wolf Collector, what up, buddy? Wolf HD, how we doing? <laughs> Uh, when I moved out of Albany a few years back, I had to pay to see the Giants or Yankee. Uh, no problem, Ernie. Appreciate you being here, brother. Yeah, I live a little north of Albany, so I know all about the 518, the 2 2. Rizzo swings and drives it. That's uh, gonna hang up there. It's a, boy, I thought he got more of that than he did. Soto is gonna go to third. Judge will stay at first. Yankees have runners at first and third with two outs. I thought Rizzo got way more of that than he did, plus the way the pitcher reacted. I went on the pitcher's reaction, honestly. And that ball didn't go anywhere. That ball was well short of the warning track. Well, here's a two-out opportunity for Giancarlo Stanton. There you go. So far, the Yankees play discipline, third in walks, fifth in chase, which is way better, and first in pitches seen per at bat. Stanton has an opportunity here, and he takes outside the counts one and oh. As much as Stanton drives me crazy with some of his ridiculous swings. I still love this guy. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I just, I, a lot of people don't like him. He is one of my favorite Yankees. I love Giancarlo pitch low and outside two and oh, it's a good start here. Stanton needs to look for something here. You just got a zone of pitch and if it ain't there, you take it. But if it's in your zone, man, you're hacking and whacking at this one. I just freaking, I, I just, I like Giancarlo. Pitch. I don't know what he was looking for. <laughs> he took a fastball right down the middle of the plate. I have no idea what he was looking for. He should have killed that pitch. He should have killed that one. He must have been looking change up. I don't know how you take a fastball on 2 and 0, but that's what he did. It'll be a 2 1 to Stanton. Nelson deals. Stanton takes inside off the plate and the count's 3 and 1. Alex Verdugo. 
on deck for the Yankees. And I feel like that was a sleeper pickup. I mean, obviously Soto was the huge pickup, but uh, I like the addition of Verdugo. He's just a ball player. 3-1 to Stanton. You know, so working himself into trouble here at the top of the first. The righty sets in the belt. He kicks and deals. And Stanton took a massive cut and fouled it straight back. He was right on that pitch. Just got under it a bit. The count's full three and two. That'll send Judge from first. So anything in the gap should score Judge. There is Alex Verdugo. No beard. Very clean shaven. Unlike when he was with Boston. It'll be a payoff pitch. Nelson deals. Stanton takes inside. All right. Come on, Verdugo. Let's go, Doogie. Let's go, baby. Yankees are loaded. I mean, if nothing else, Nelson's already up to 24 pitches in this first inning. We talked about the patience of the Yankees so far this season, and early on, they're showing it. <clears throat> Mikey Bombers, what up, man? Queez, what up? No power in what swing? In Stanton's? All Stanton does is swing with power. It just don't look like it, man, but that dude hits the ball. He kills it. And Verdugo up there taking a first pitch hack at a fastball. And he fouled it straight back, and the count is 0-1. Yankees do them loaded here in the top of the first. Verdugo trying to get the Yankees off to a lead with a big two-out hit. Open stance at the plate. Nelson kicks and deals, and Verdugo takes it off the plate. Just missed. Count one and one. I'd say Nelson's throwing hard, but 97 is about average this day and age. When I was growing up, if pitchers touched 97, 98, it was like, wow, super plus fastball. Clemens and Nolan Ryan were like the only guys that really topped 95, 96 on a regular basis. Common now. 1-1. One, one. Slider outside, 2-1. So again, Nelson already up to 27 pitches. But Verdugo would like to make him pay here with a hit. It'll be a 2-1 here to Alex Verdugo. Pays the load of two outs. Pitch in there for a strike. That was a good pitch. Inside corner at the knees, and the count's even at 2-2. Two and two. Verdugo didn't like it. Verdugo wearing Tino's old number. Anthony Volpe waits on deck. It'll be a 2-2 pitch here to Verdugo. Nelson about to deal pitch number 30, and Verdugo chops it foul. Stayed alive. 99 on the gun. Count remains 2-2. Two two. The surprise L.A. Lou isn't here. I know L.A. Lou loves a good baseball game. Surprise he's not here. Anna V, what up? Yes, get a bit. We got to win for Dire Giants fans' birthday, man. Got to win. Got to win. It'll be a 2-2 again. Nelson deals. Verdugo takes high and outside. Three and two. That'll start the merry-go-round. Soto from third. Judge from second. Stanton from first. A gapper clears the bases. Verdugo's got to be looking fastball here. It's got to be a fastball, I would imagine. Three-two. He swings down to one knee and he pops it straight up in the air. Home run in a silo coming in from third and making the catch is Eugenio Suarez. And that will retire the side. The Yankees leave him loaded. They did make Nelson work, but Nelson squeezes out of trouble. No runs, one hit, three left. We played one half inning. We'll go to the bottom of the first. It is the Yankees nothing and the D-backs coming to bat. Damn it. Damn it. Verdugo went down to a knee. He overswung on that one. He was trying to be Reggie Jackson on that. Um, Diamondbacks lineup looks like this. Leading off, playing second base is Ketel Marte. Center fielder Corbin Carroll will uh, bat second. Left fielder Lourdes Gurriel will bat third. First baseman Christian Walker cleans up. The DH former Dodger, Jock Peterson, will bat fifth. Eugenio Suarez, who caught that pop-up, plays third and bat sixth. Gabriel uh, Marino will catch him at seventh. Jake McCarthy plays right field and bat it's eighth. And the shortstop, Geraldo Perd or Perdomo. I can't read my own writing. Geraldo Geraldo Perdomo will bat ninth. On the mound for the Yankees is Luis Heel. They did make the pitcher work, Anthony. That, that they did. 
That they did. That they did. So there is the lineup. Oh, I like that. I even noticed that, yes, it shows who's in the bullpen and who's on the bench. Luis Heal. So I didn't go to the store today, and I have no two liters, and I had to downgrade. I don't have any zero sugar. I had to downgrade to Diet Coke because I like zero sugar better than Diet Coke, but we have to do what we got to do, right? I shouldn't need as much to drink. New York dude, what up? Yeah. Yes. It, they, they've left a ton of guys on base already. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. The pitch by heel is in there for a strike to Marte. And the count's on one. Marte off to a good start. He's a good hitter. 353, drove in a run. 353, if you're wondering, is 6 for 17. This is how... Ridiculous, my mind works early in the year. These batting averages, I can pretty much tell you what their hits and bats are. Pitch, he took a big swing at an inside fastball and looped it foul. The count's quickly 0 2. So, Marte, Carol, Gurriel, the top three for the D backs in the first. Yeah, hit the like, it's free. Irish Rover is right, it's free. 0 2, just missed. Don't forget about this guy. Irish Rover, don't forget. Don't forget about that guy right there. Throw him in there too. Little Aaron Judge. The uh, one two foul the way. 89 by heel. My count is one and two. Sammy, what up? Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Hope you all had a great Easter yesterday. One two. Foul the way again. Heel is throwing hard, though. 99 again. Showing the NL champs. and I forget, Yeah, they were in the World Series. What the hell am I talking about? Playoffs. This team was in the World Series last year. It'll be a 1-2. Way outside, 2-2. Two and two. Heel overthrew a... a well, he said it was a changeup, but changeup at 94 is pretty, pretty hard. The 2-2 pitch. Fouled away again. Marte at the top of the strike zone. Still found a way to foul off a 99-mile-an-hour pitch. So he is making heel work. This will be the eighth pitch of the at-bat already. The Cardinals' best batting average is 284. Tyler, that's rough, bro. But it's early. It's early, man. The 2-2. Oh, where was that? Where was that? That's a strike, guys. He got screwed. That pitch was a strike. Pitch. Check the swing. Did he go? He did not. So Marte draws a leadoff walk. So he'll get squeezed. And the Diamondbacks will lead off runner at first. So I'll bring up the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. That 2-2 that two -two pitch was a strike. Unbelievable. Yeah, hopefully this year's Dodgers Yankees. I've been I've been dying for one of those. Carroll hitting 231 on the early season. Pitch swung on a miss, blew a fastball right by him. 330 or 231, by the way. I believe it's three for 13, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I think it's three for 13. Oh one. Foul the way. So Heel got ahead of Marte and he ended up working a walk. He couldn't put him away. Let's see if he can put Carroll away. Carroll had 25 homers and 50 stolen bases at age 23. I mean, who even knows about Corbin Carroll? This is how good these guys are. I don't I never heard of this guy, and he was that good last year because he plays in Arizona. They don't get any exposure. He fouls it away. And the count's 0 too. I, I mean, I didn't watch World Series last year, so. I, I didn't even know how good this guy was. Ah, uh, Dashie's in the house. That's Larry Van Over for you. Very inconsistent. That sucks. I hate the inconsistent strike zones. O2. Hey, strong him out. So he'll take a seat. And there's one away. 
There are all the additions. Jordan Montgomery, who there was talk about him going back to the Yankees. Eduardo Rodriguez, Jacques Peterson, Eugenio Suarez, I believe he was a red, and Randall Gritchick. Of course, he had a cup of coffee with the Yankees. High slider there by Heel is in there for a strike. Lourdes Goriel, what a start to the season for him. 471, three homers. Lord Beerus, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank you for being a friend. He says, I'm a Mets fan, but I respect the Yankees pitch. Swung and a miss, we'll fastball right by him. Own two. We don't buy championships. We're trying to win one on discount. Well, I don't know. I mean, Steve Cohen certainly spent some money last. He spent like three quarters of a billion dollars. I just don't know what the hell is going on with the Mets, but he did try last year pitch outside 0 and 2 or 1 and 2. I think now he just kind of gave up the ghost, but he, I mean, he went out, he got Scherzer, he got Verlander, he signed Lindor to a huge deal. You know, there's talk about them getting Soto. They were in on, um, oh God, who's the Japanese pitcher? Well, I can't think of his name now. The 1 2 popped up. And it's on the infield, and calling everybody off is the third baseman, Cabrera, and there's two away. Yeah, I mean, he went for it last year, and when it failed, he traded everybody away. So they did try, which, you know, I get – who the hell – Yamamoto, thank you. I was losing my mind. Thank you. I knew somebody would say – I don't know why the hell I couldn't think about that. I wanted the Yankees to get him, obviously. Um. But, you know, listen, like Yankee fans are like, oh, Steve. I'm like, how can you get mad at the Mets for doing what the Yankees did for all those years, man? Pay pay a ton of money. I don't care. Spend a billion dollars in their payroll. I, uh, Hal, stop, I always say, Hal, stop being cheap. You better give Soto a blank check next year. Christian Walker up there, 313, two home runs, five RBIs. Yeah, it's five for 16, if you're wondering. The pitch. Popped up foul behind home plate. The count's one and one. Kettle Marte is on at first with two outs. He led the inning off with a walk and then a strikeout, a pop up. Tricksters, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, my friend. Really, really couple coins for you. Hope you stream. Uh, it depends on the day. Like, I just, it depends on my schedule. I mean, I, I work a full time job. I have a family. I go to the gym five days a week. So I just got to find time. Pitch. He did not go around. The count's two and one. I was upstairs. Uh, I love doing baseball games. It's just with the seven o'clock games for the Yankees are difficult for me, which is why I don't do the Knicks and I do the Lakers. They play so much later. Tonight was a 940 game, so it fit my schedule pretty good. We will be live for the Lakers tomorrow at 645. 2 1 swung on in, fouled away, and he had no choice but to foul that away as it was a changeup boring in on his hands. And the counts two and two to Christian Walker. Uh, Roki Sasaski is a 21-year-old that throws 101 coming over next year. Hey, you never know. I'm sure the Yankees will go after him. The Yankees always go after those international players. They've had some success with the guys from Japan ever since Hideki Arabu, who was a disaster, and Keigawa. But Hideki Matsui and uh, Pitch struck him out. Give me one. Give me one of these. <laughs> So two strikeouts for a heel, no runs, no hits, one left. We played one full inning. We'll go to the top of the second inning, bottom of the order for the Yankees, Volpe, Wells, and Cabrera. Gemini stacks it up. Tobel Island, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, the Mets are 0 4. Yes, they are. IKF is pitching for the James. What? Is that is that true? Um you made one of your bosses at work fall for eight. Yeah, that's always good. Get them. You know, I'm surprised. My boss, I didn't even think about this today. So my boss is a big time trickster. He didn't do anything today. He did not, he did not do anything today. I'm surprised. I am surprised. I am surprised. You normally he doesn't hit that thumbs up, subscribing the bell. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Let's go. Going to be doing Yankee baseball again. The only thing I miss right now is it's not warm down here. Like I, I'm missing when it's nice and warm. You know what I mean? 
I miss having the window open with a fan blowing in that nice late spring crisp, you know, air where you smell the barbecues and the campfires and the cut grass. Like, I love that. My neighbors are always doing something, you know, they're always barbecuing or they're always having like a campfire or something. And I always love just smell of that. Uh, you know, I, I love that stuff. So we're not there yet. We're April one. Uh, supposed to get some snow here on Thursday. And then by Tuesday, it's supposed to be 70 degrees. That is just the Northeast. You guys are going to live up here. Understand Volpe takes it for a strike. I'm underway here in the second inning. And the count is on one Volpe. Uh, three games. He was four for 10. He hit a homer and a couple RBIs. And again, his approach so much better this year. The 01 is low when the count is one and one. Kelly, what up, buddy? Let's go, Yankees, indeed. That's right. Hey, my guy, Pete. It'll be a 1 1 pitch to Volpe. Nelson deals. Volpe. Fouls it away. You see how Volpe's trying to go to right field? Like, I love that. He tries to take that, tries to take that pitch. Look at this. He saw 70 pitches. He swung and missed twice. I mean, that's insane because this guy was swinging and missing all the time last year because he was trying to pull everything out of the park. It'll be a one-two, and that pitch is up and in. And the count is two and two. There's DJ LeMahieu sitting in between Aaron Judge and somebody that I can't tell because the scoreboard's right on his eyes. Actually, that was Garrett Cole, not DJ LeMahieu. That pitch is inside the count three and two. Boy, I can't wait for the Yankees to get Garrett Cole back. It's Garrett Cole, not DJ LeMahieu. I like that sweater that Garrett Cole has on. Probably don't need that in Arizona. Keeping the pitching arms warm looking at the nails and taking a bite out of the middle finger. It'll be a 3-2 uh, to Volpe leading off the second inning. And the payoff pitch from Nelson. Volpe swings and lines a tracer into the alley, and that'll get down for a hit. Backhanded by the center field of Volpe on his horse, digs in a second with a double. I love the way Volpe is hitting early on, man. I love it. Pitch away, hit it away. I love this approach by Volpe, a hanging changeup. Ball was outside. Volpe didn't try to do too much with it, just put a good swing on it and laced it into the alley. And right out of the box, he was looking for two. Right out of the box, he was thinking two. His approach is just so different. The Yankees as a team's approach. I know it's only been four games, but it's just such a different-looking team. Then I'll bring up Boston Wells, and he takes it right down the middle for a strike, and the count is 0-1. I could definitely grow the I could definitely grow the uh, Austin Wells stash. I totally could grow that thing. Totally. 0-1. Low, 1-1. One one. Volpe is cooking uh, Jones of China. Evan, what's going on? Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate you. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Run with second, nobody out. Nelson deals the 1-1, one, one, and Wells tried to hit a 2-iron and looked like me trying to hit one off the tee as I pull my head up and totally miss it. The count's 1-2. and two. I mean, if nothing else, you know, Wells has to pull the ball here to the right side of the infield and get Volpe to third. He's got to do his job. You just got to make contact, get that ball to the right side. Pitch. Instead, he drills it to left field. Boy, that ball does not carry. That will get the runner over. As McCarthy makes the catch in the track, and Volpe is going to jog in the third. So a good job by Austin Wells getting the runner over. And now it's up to Oswaldo Cabrera to get him in. And Cabrera was smoking hot in that series. And that is a hell of a stash by Austin Wells. Got to give it up for the stash. That is a hell of a stash. He just got under that one just a bit. But now it's up to Cabrera. Get that run in. Had a great series in Houston. He's hitting 438. A couple of late home runs. One was a game winner. Six ribbies and a great necklace. The pitch. And Cabrera swings and laces it. He doesn't even lace it. It's going to drop in there for a base hit. 
Coming around to score is Volpe, and the Yankees are on the board. It's one another, baby. Give me a little. I love this team, damn it. Let's go. <laughs> Give me some of this in October, baby. Give me some of this in October. That was just a little Texas leaguer. Volpe actually went back to tag up. No, flip over the order to Glaber. Glaber swings on it and lines it. Bangs it. It's going to get past the left fielder. All the way into the wall. They're going to... Uh, they send him in. Cabrera scores. And the Yankees lead 2 nothing just like that. Glaber! Yankees aren't waiting now. They they look at Nelson enough, and he is hanging that change up. And Glaber just takes that right down the middle, rips it into the left center field alley. And Cabrera was on his horse the whole way and looked like he was hauling a little luggage with him. <laughs> Not the fastest guy, but he does score. And then I'll bring up Juan Soto. Soto walked his first at bat, and they're out there talking to Nelson already. He's given up two runs. Yankees have a runner at second with one out. He's already thrown 43 pitches. Soto is just been amazing. Yankees got to give this guy a blank check. Yeah, for real. For real. Let's go. How about like a uh like a 12 to 1 win for Dire Giants fans' birthday today? That'd be good, right? So the Yankees lead 2-0. And here is Soto. Runner at first. Oh, first base is open, but Judge is on deck. This is why it's so good having these two guys back to back. The pitch. Soto takes a big swing. Yankees are now being aggressive. The first time through the order, they let Nelson throw a lot of pitches, but maybe they've seen a lot now. They've timed up that fastball and they're being aggressive early in the count. The count is 0 and 1 to Soto. Nelson pitch low and in, count 1 and 1. Yep. Houston do a no hitter. I saw that they had a no hitter going, but I didn't I didn't see that they had thrown it all the way. You drink those tears, Dash. The tears of your opponents are always great. Soto is totally fooled. You don't see Soto take a lot of swings like that. That was a really good change up by Nelson as the pitch moved away, and Soto just didn't have a good swing of that one. He was way out in front. The counts one and two. And the one two to Soto bounced up there. Nice stop by Marino. And the count is two and two to Soto. 47 pitches for Ryan Nelson. Aaron Judge waits on deck. He singled his first at bat. One on, one out, two in for the Yanks. They lead two nothing. The runner at second is Glaber Torres. Nelson deals. Soto fouls it away. The count's two and two. Yankees got there two runs. Volpe led off with a double. Austin Wells got him to third on a fly ball. Cabrera with a bloop singles. Made it one nothing. And Glaber with the gap double scored Cabrera. Two nothing Yankees. Top of the second inning. Soto waggles the bat a little bit. Nelson comes set at the belt. And he looks Glaber back to second. Soto will get some more footing in the batter's box. Yankees looking for more. They got two in already in the meat of the order up there right now. Pitch. Soto fouls it away again. I just love Soto, man. He just makes pitchers work. Counts two and two. This guy's 25 years old. I mean, he, the Yankees have got some incredibly young talent. Like I said, they got Volpe. They got Cabrera. Think about Jason Dominguez, how young he is, what he can be. You got uh, Soto. Pitch. Outside, three and two. So Soto worked the count full. Nelson's at 50 pitches. Yeah, exactly, Astro Monster. Exactly, man. They they look good so far. It'll be a 3-2. Soto swings and hits it in the air to left field. Just in front of the track, making the catch is Guriel. Glaber will stay. It's like the ball gets away from the third baseman, but Glaber will stay put. I mean, you're in scoring position. You don't ever want to make the last out of third base. So 
Smart move by Glaber. Hopefully Aaron Judge can get the job done here. As Soto actually made an out. I'm not used to that. <laughs> not used to him making an out. Yeah, David. The funny thing is they're scoring runs with small ball, and at the same time, they're they're uh they're not they're, they're leaving a lot of guys on. Yeah, exactly. Fijul Cabrera's young, Volpe's young. Soto's young. Jason Dominguez is young. Judge, not really young, but not really old either. In his prime, he takes upstairs. And account is one. Oh, Glaber is still a young. Glaber is still a young player. Well, the Yankees got a good mix of youth and veteran leadership. Pitch. Judge swings and hits it in the air. He got it off the end of the bat. Guriel over, makes the catch in left center. And that will retire the side. But the Yankees get two runs on three hits. They leave one. We've played one and a half. We'll go to the bottom of the second. The Yankees two, the D-backs zero. Yeah, Yankees are being the Yankees, you know. Because the Giants, well, Stanton will get hurt at tight end. I don't think they want to do that, Jack. I don't think they want to do that. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. Thank you for being here. I'm not going to say Judge sucks. I mean, my God, it's fifth game. I'm a, a guy, the guy hit 62 home runs two years ago, and last year was on pace to hit like 58 before he got hurt. I don't think I don't think Judge sucks. <laughs> I'm not going to say Judge sucks. He's off to a bit of a slow start, but that's fine. Listen. You don't want all your guys to be hot at once. You know, once Soto is red hot, eventually Soto is going to cool, cool off. It's a law of averages. The, the Hall of Fame, the best hitters in the history of baseball make out 70% of the time. So it's only a matter of time before Soto goes through a bad stretch. When Soto kind of falls off, that's when you want Judge to take off. You don't want them both hot at the same time. You don't want them both cold at the same time. It's best if one is hot and one is cold and then vice versa. Because that way you still have that production in the middle of the order. But yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say judge sucks. Uh yeah, judge didn't have yeah, judge missed a lot of that. Matthew, I'm glad it's back too. Suchith, what up? Judge, he's not washed. Guys, I mean, my God, how many at bats has he had? 19 at bats? I mean, 18 of bats. I think he's at 18 of bats. You know, can we can we relax? <laughs> the the all you gotta do is look at the back of his baseball card. Okay. That's usually you, you know he's gonna get it together. Yep, Astros won 10 nothing. I'm glad we got the hell out of Houston before they started hitting Dashy. Middle of the order, Jacques Peterson, who looks like he gained a few pounds in the offseason. It'll be Peterson, Suarez, and Marino, five, six, and seven. Jacques Peterson, three games, had a monster start, hitting 714. And that pitch almost hit him in the foot, but it did not. Hundred miles an hour. That's his fastest pitch of his major league career for Luis Hill. Got their strike, so 2-0, right down the middle, 2-1 and one to Peterson. Peterson looked like he was going to be really special there for a while. He won the home run derby, and it kind of went down from there. Hard to believe he's been in the league for like 10 years. He takes low. Wells tried to bring it up and frame it for the ump, but he was not fooled on April Fool's Day, and the count is 3-1. If you're healing, you got those strikes, man. You want that shutdown inning. The Yankees just gave you two runs. Pitch. Peterson crushes the ball into the alley. That ball does not carry. Soda runs over to his right a few steps and makes the catch. That ball does not carry. There's a number of times, man, I thought that ball was going way farther than it did. Marcus, what up, buddy? Thank you for being here from Lamar, Colorado. It has been a while for the Yankees. Otis the Cow, what up? Milf Man, how you doing? Good to see you guys and girls in the chat. 
One out, nobody on. Pitch right there for a strike to Eugenio Suarez, the former Red. He's also off to a good start, hitting 429. Dashi, you're familiar with him, sure. Yeah, definitely not. There. There's a couple of guys that hit the ball. I thought Peterson was going to the wall. I wasn't even to the freaking, uh, wasn't even to the warning track. The pitch. Swung on and shot foul by Suarez, 0-1. Bill's Mafia, what up? Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you being here. Yankees lead 2-0 in the bottom of the second here from Arizona. The pitch. Swung on and missed. And that was strike three. They, they had the thing wrong on there, so. Two strike outs are heel. He blew a high fastball right by Suarez. There's two outs. Nobody on. He looks at his hand like, you betrayed me. You betrayed me. Then I bring up Gabriel Marino, the catcher. And heel kicks and deals in there for a strike. 97. It counts 0-1. Two nothing Yanks. They got their two runs in the top of the second. Single by Cabrera, double by Glaber. Pitch low and outside. Count one and one. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, the Yankees are always hiring a lot of players. Damn, but a lot of them never get the chance. Pitch upstairs two and one. They get buried in the minors. So we'll see. Will Pete Rose Otani be banned from baseball? <laughs> Uh, I think Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame. I think it's ridiculous that he's not. 2-1! Outside 3-1. and one. Come on, baby. Don't walk him. Ace, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, my friend. Brilly. Brilly. I was a center fielder. Pitch! Swung on and popped up. Outside of third, Cabrera in foul territory makes the catch in that retire the side. D-backs go in order in their half of the second. Good shutdown hitting for Heel. We'll go to the top of the third. The Yankees two, the D-backs nothing. Yeah, I was a center fielder uh, most of the time. He didn't have a great arm, but I could run really good. I also played second base. So those are those are the two positions I played um, most of the time. Sometimes I'd be in right field, but it was rare. I didn't have a good arm, so... Um, center and second is what I played. Um, Cheyenne, what up? Taj, what up? Kalen, what up? You guys are here. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Let's go. Yeah, Andrew, like I told that other guy, uh, it's April Fool's Day. I'm almost 50 years old. You got to get up early in the morning to get me to bite on an April Fool's Day joke. So <laughs> it's not good to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, it's a joke. It's a joke, without question. So we're going to the top of the third. Yeah, they did, Russell. I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad the Yankees got out of there. When they did before Houston started a started a hit, you know. So Yankee Moa, what up? Thank you for being here. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Middle of the order for the Yankees in the town of third. Rizzo Stanton Verdugo. Yankees lead two nothing as Rizzo. Steps in. Can't do Sinatra anymore. I used Sinatra um, for Anthony Volpe, man, and they flagged me. So I can't use the Sinatra. I For Rizzo, I can still do this, though. Be a 1-0. Two Rizzo leading off the third inning. Nelson up to 54 pitches already. Rizzo flew out in the first. Nelson waiting. Rizzo taking his time in the batter's box. 
And uh, Nelson kicks, deals, and it's inside. Almost hit him in the back knee. The count's 2-0. Oh. Two oh incoming here to Rizzo. Pitch inside and low, 3-0. and oh. The Yankees' approach at the plate is so much different the first week of the season here. They've been very patient, seeing the most pitches of any team. And Rizzo takes a four-pitch walk. The start of the Yankees here in the third. Papa. Mets couldn't score. The other day, the Mets only had one one hit. Mets are the Mets are struggling. Pitch to Giancarlo, and he he takes a typical Giancarlo swing and misses it by six feet in the count. So I still love this guy, but he, some of those swings make me shake my head without question. Nelson deals. Stanton had a good swing of that one, and he fouled it straight back. That's what the thing is about Stanton. Like, he'll miss a pitch by three feet, and then he's all over the next pitch, but he fouled it back. That count is quickly 0-2 to Giancarlo. Pitch. Stanton fouls it away. The count remains 0-2. Oh, and two to Giancarlo. Rizzo on a first, nobody out. Top of the third. Yanks two, Diamondbacks. Nothing. Nelson's thrown 60 pitches already. And it's up and into Stanton. And the count is one or two. 60 pitches, and he's only thrown two plus innings so far. That is insane. It'll be a one two to Giancarlo. Nelson set at the belt. And the righty. Kicks and deals. Stanton takes low, two and two. Good eye there by Giancarlo. This dude is just jacked. I think that's part of the reason that I, I like him. I, I always appreciate the gym rats. Stanton looks like a bodybuilder. Judge is just a massively strong guy, but Stanton's got that build. He looks like he's chiseled out of stone and checked a swing on a good slider. So he's went from 0-2 to 3-2. I doubt Rizzo will be in motion. Rizzo can't run. Stanton strikes out a lot. I imagine he'll stay put here on the payoff pitch from Nelson. Verdugo waits on deck. 3-2. And Stanton takes it right down the middle of the plate, and he, he just walks in, walks uh, walks right to the dugout. He just took a right-handed turn. and That's the second time, man. Stanton was ahead of the count 2-0. and oh. It was last at bat. He took a fast right down the middle plate. 3-2. He just... It was a good pitch. I mean, it was at the lower end of the strike zone, but I mean, you gotta gotta take a bat off your shoulder, there, big fella. So one away here to bring up Doogie. Pitch off the plate, called the strike. Count one one. Doogie Hauser, MD, just uh, three for seventeen to start the season. That's what that one eighty eight, or three for sixteen to start the season. That's what that one eighty eight averages. Oh one. Fouls it away, and the count is quickly 0-2 to Verdugo. Dr. Doogie. There was a saving catch by Verdugo last night. I like Verdugo, man. I, I just, I like him. He's a ball player. Just a, just a, just a ball player. The Yankees need more ball players. The pitch is upstairs, one and two. Obviously, I love the Juan Soto signing without question, but uh, I do think this was an under-the-radar move by the Yankees. Verdugo is a very solid player. The 1-2 to Doogie. Sliced foul outside of third. The ball girl will pick up the slow roller. The count remains 1-2. and two. Yankees 2, Diamondbacks nothing. Top of the third, 1 on. It's Rizzo. He let off the inning with a walk. 1 out. It'll be a 1-2 to Doogie. Pitch. Low 2-2. Two two. Nice stop there by Marino. Again, the Yankees making Nelson work. He's about to throw his 70th pitch. 
Volpe awaits on deck. You got the Yankee rally last inning started with a double. He scored on Cabrera's single. And then Cabrera scored on Glaber's double. It'll be a 2 2 to Verdugo. Nelson looks in for the sign, gets what he likes, comes set at the belt. The righty kicks and deals. Verdugo rips the ball. Foul. Son of a bitch. We had a good swing it out. He just a little bit too far out in front of it. Andrew, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, brother. Really, really, my friend. A couple of coins for you. Has my perception on Booner Cash changed? I think it's early. I did like what the Yankees did in free agency and trades this year, though. I did like the moves. I just wish you would have got some um, going the bling bling on Verdugo. I wish you would have got some more pitching. Like, I would have liked if they could have got Jordan Montgomery back. See, this is the difference between a guy that makes millions of dollars and then a guy that makes thousands of dollars. You see, you see the you see the my bling bling compared to his? Like, it's nothing. Like, I, mine, mine is like 10 karat gold. His is full of diamonds. 2-2, two, two, Verdugo grounds a five. <laughs> Doogie, I need an upgrade. Can you hook a brother up? This necklace is much better than the one he wore in Boston. Like, he had an ugly-ass chain in Boston. They just showed a couple of chicks with a couple of beers. I don't know what that was about. It'll be a 2-2. Two -two. Verdugo takes high, 3-2. and two. Again, Rizzo has no speed. I can't imagine him uh, taking off. But, again, this approach by the Yankees, the patient approach, not leaving the strike zone, not helping out the pitcher. Nelson's already thrown 72 pitches with one out in the top of the third. He is not much longer for this game. Yankees will get into the pen. Payoff. Verdugo chops it foul. He stays alive again. This will be pitch number eight of the at-bat. Yours made from palm leaves. Nice. Nice. Yeah, the play by Birdie at third was amazing, uh, Russell. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It'll be a payoff. Good at bat by Doogie. So he walks. I can imagine this is probably Nelson's last batter. He don't get Volpe. I know there's somebody warming in the pen right now, but I mean, back-to-back -back walks. He's up to 75 pitches. Yankees had him loaded in the first. Verdugo popped up with the bases loaded. They left the runner on in the third after scoring two. And again, they're threatening here in the third with two on and one out. Volpe doubled his first about scored on the single by Cabrera, hitting a solid 455 early in the year. The pitch. Volpe swings and lines a base hit to center field. That is going to score Rizzo as he rounds third base. Verdugo goes to third. And our guy, Volpe, is two for two. And the Yankees lead three nothing. There we go. I love Volpe's approach. Back up the middle. Middle and right center. Everything. Just taking the ball where it's pitched. Not over swinging, not trying to do too much. Way, way different at the beginning of the year than he was last year. You got to love his approach. John Carlos like, I can't do that. I strike out. I can't do that. I strike out. I can't do that. I strike out. Austin Wells up pitch. Wells hits a fly ball to left. Let's see if Verdugo tries a score. He is going to. The throw is up the line. He gets past the catcher. And going all the way to third is Volpe. The throw goes into left field. Volpe's going to come in and score. And it is five. Let's go. The hustle and muscle by the Yankees. Volpe speed leads to a run. That'll be a sack fly for Wells. It's going to be an error on the left fielder, Guriel. And the Yankees now lead 5-0. It'll be an error on Guriel, and then whoever threw the ball down the left field line, two errors on the play. And Volpe will get up and score easily. As the Diamondbacks chucking around the fields. 5-0 Yanks. Let's go, baby. 
You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Oswaldo Guerrero will come up. He drove in the first round for the Yankees with an RBI single. So now bases are cleared. Five nothing Yanks. Three runs in, and that is probably going to do it for Mr. Ryan Nelson. And it will. So Nelson, who threw a lot of pitches, was not helped out by his defense in this inning, uh, but walked way too many guys, way too many full counts. And they're going to bring in another Nelson <laughs> coming out of the pen. This one's going to be a lefty. And uh, we have a commercial break. Big shout out to Bet US for sponsoring the channel, ladies and gentlemen. You want to bet on tonight's game? Want to do some live betting? Want to bet on the football draft? Want to bet on baseball, basketball, hockey? You want to do a little Shohei Otani and bet on whatever you want to bet on? Because trust me when I tell you, there's so many things to bet on at Bet US. Take advantage of the best promotion going by any betting app out there. Click the link in the description, enter the promo code JOIN125. Bet US will give you a 125% match deposit. On your first three deposits, your first three deposits, all the way up to a $2,500 bonus. Most betting apps give you your initial deposit. It's a 100% match, and they'll give you like a oh, limit of $100, limit of $200. Not BetUS. Your first three deposits, you can get a bonus of all the way up to $2,500. Just for instance, if you use that promo code JOIN125 and click the link in the description and you deposit $500 into your account, BetUS is going to give you an extra $625 on top of your $500 to play with. And they'll do this on your first three deposits. You also get 10% gambler's insurance against all your net losses as long as you stay active every six months. Click that link in the description. Enter the promo code JOIN125. They have great customer service payouts within 24 hours. Take advantage of the best promotion going on any betting app. Link's down there. Shout out to BetUS for sponsoring the channel. Have fun when you bet, but please always bet responsibly. Never bet more than you can afford to lose. Uh, David, thank you, brother. Appreciate you, my friend. Really, really. Looks like the new hitting coach showing P effect. Yes. Well, like I said, the approach by the Yankees is so much different. They're so much more patient at the plate. And Volpe, just look at the way Volpe's approaches. He's been taking everything right up the middle, back up the middle, right, right center field. That's what you want to do. So we replace Ryan Nelson with Kyle Nelson. 90s Yanks vibe so far, Yankee Mojo. So far, bro. Pitch. Cabrera takes it on the corner. Count is 0-1. Two outs, nobody on. Three runs in for the Yankees. And the 0-1. Cabrera pops it up. Short stop. Uh, Perdomo makes the catch, and that will retire the side. But the Yankees get three runs on one hit. That's what I'm talking about. Get those runs in. Nobody left. We played two and a half innings. It is five zip. Good guys. Let's go. Ooh. Damn right, Knicks Nation. That that is exactly right. Article went up. Chris B went up 162. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? KP went up. Kelly, how we doing, buddy? Salvador Martinez. Appreciate you being here. Steven N. Soto does have a hit. Yes. Uh no, I'm sorry. I don't think Soto does have a hit. I think Soto walked. Yeah, Soto has never hit yet. He he walked. He might have walked twice. Well, I, I can check really quick. Yeah, he's over one with a walk. He's over one with a walk. Over one with a walk. I wanted to get that scoreboard up there. That line score. Um, sort of walked. Yes, walked in, walked in, uh, made out. Uh, do I think he'll get one? I mean, it's good, good odds that he gets one, Stephen. Hopefully, I always when guys bet on things, I always hope they win. So we'll go to the bottom of the third, five nothing Yankees. They've staked Luis Heel. 
And that Yankee, one all-star, 165 wins, 2,536 strikeouts. Uh, I'm going to say that's Javier Vasquez. I'm going to say it's Javi Vasquez. Uh, I'm going to say that's Javier Vasquez, that, that thing that they just put up there. Pitch, swung on and laced into the corner, and that will be a base hit. Soto cuts it off in the corner, and McCarthy starts it off here for the Diamondbacks and the hit. And then I'll bring up the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. That one got up there in the eyes, and McCarthy turned on it and singled. Perdomo hitting 286. Be nice to get a little 463 action here. Is Javi Vasquez and uh, I don't know. He might be. He might be. The pitch upstairs and away count one and zero. Oh. Pitch on there on the corner for a strike. Count one and one. What's itching? What does that mean? I know when your hand itches, it means money is either coming in or out. What's it mean when your foot itches? 1-1, one, one, way upstairs. Count 2-1, and one, heel over through that one. I don't know why they're showing 81 heel. Like, I don't know why they're showing that. It'll be a 2-1 here to Perdomo. Heel set of the belt. He kicks and deals. Perdomo swings and hits it in the air to left field, falling fast and just foul. Just foul. I didn't miss by much. They baseball's a game of inches, and that one was close to being a bloop single or double. I just missed. Like I just missed hitting the chalk. I did not miss by much. It'll be a 2-2 to Perdomo. McCarthy leads off first. The Yankees lead 5-0. Yankees yeah, got two in the second, three in the third. Oh, he has the lowest Scrabble score. Is that true? <laughs> Is that what they're talking about? The 2-2 two -two pitch, up and in, 3-2. and two. I don't think that McCarthy will be running down 5 nothing. The Yankees lost at a D-backs no one. I, I can't either the way it ended, but it's over to first, and McCarthy's back. With Mariano on the mound after he struck out the eighth, I can remember Soriano hitting that home run off Schilling and just going, we just won the World Series again because Mariano never made a mistake and he struck out the eighth, but him throwing the ball into center field, I remember that. 3-2 upstairs, not good. Not good by Heel walking the ninth place hitter when you're up by five runs. I mean, you got to just throw the ball down the middle and challenge him. I mean, you do not want to give these guys – and the opportunity to come back. And when you're up 5 nothing, walks will kill you. Make them earn their way on base. But yeah, the, the 2001 World Series was a tough one. I remember that happening. I'm just like, I guess we can't win it every year. I, I wasn't even really upset about it. Because honestly, in Game 4 and Game 5, I thought we were toast anyway. And then those miracle home runs by Tino and Brocious. But I I was just like, I, and they always show Luis Gonzalez the, like taking the swing and then and then jumping down first base because they don't even show that he barely got anything. And the Yankees were in double play depth. Jeter catches that ball. A ball barely got over the infield. Yeah, he's got to settle down, Russell. Yes, he does. Pitch. It's called a strike right at the top of the zone. And Marte did not like the call. Counts on one. He says, nah, nah, that was no good. That, that no good. That no good. He's also got a lot of hardware around his neck. Uh, it's Kettle Marte. 
the all one from heel. Long set from the righty. Deals swung on and shot foul count on two. Yankees lead 5 0, bottom of the third, but the Diamondbacks are their first legitimate threat of the night. They have two on and nobody out. McCarthy on at second, Perdomo on at first. Corbin Carroll awaits on deck. It'll be an 0 2. Heel looks in for the sign. The righty comes set at the chest. Kicks, deals, bounced up there. Wells got in front of it, but that's not going to stop the runners from moving up. So that'll be a wild pitch for Heel. And now there's second and third with nobody out. Heel's got to settle down there, do a 57 footer there. Ball kicked away to Wells' right. If it kicked to the left, nobody moves up. Yeah, he's played the infield back. It'll obviously play for the out up 5 0. Pitch swung on and hit in the air to left field. Pretty deep. Verdugo back on the track makes the catch. McCarthy will tag and score easily. And the Diamondbacks are on the board. It's 5 to 1. Perdomo has stayed put at second. The Yankees will trade that. And then I'll bring up the center fielder, Corbin Carroll, with a man on second and one out. Yep, exactly, Gabriel. I got it. Got to settle down. Got to get settle down. Is that what Michael K said? The scrap. That's what he said. The scrabble score. That was Michael K. I don't have the volume up, so I don't know anything about that. Pitches upstairs, one and all. One hundred second, one out, one in for the Diamondbacks. Yankees five, Arizona one. Heel set, kicks deals, swung on and grounded right to second. Glaber has it, throws to Rizzo. Runner moves over to third, but there's two outs. And then I'll bring up the left fielder, Lourdes Guriel. Hit the thumbs up, guys. Subscribe, ring the bell. I'll be live for the Lakers tomorrow, 645 New York, 345 LA, 645 AM Wednesday in the Philippines. Uh, then yours truly is going to miss uh, a couple of games because I got things. I'm going to be away over the weekend, and I have something to do tomorrow or um, Wednesday, so I won't be able to do the game. Birthdays, big birthdays, wife's birthday, kid's birthday. Can't be missing those. Pitch right down the middle, 0-1. But I do definitely want to do more Yankee games over the summer, at least one a week, hopefully two a week. Heel deals on the corner. Good pitch. 98 right on the corner. Count 0 and 2. Michael K is an idiot. <laughs> I agree. Listen, you guys know Michael K stole my freaking video like two years ago. The 0 2. He struck him out. So Heel gets out of it. <laughs> Diamondbacks get one run on one hit. They leave one. We've played three full. We'll go to the top of the fourth. It is the Yankees. Five and the D-backs one. I'm going to run to the potty. And uh, I'm just going to run this ad really quick. It's just it's just my, uh, not the not the long ad. It's just going to be the bet US ad. So I'm just going to run that, guys. Hit that like, subscribe, ring the bell. Thank you for being here. I'll be right Bet back. U.S., America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet U.S., where the game begins. Okie dokie, I had to go to the press box to go a little potty. 
Five one Yanks. Five one Yanks. You be illin. What up, Robbie? You be illin. That was a song by uh, Run DMC back in the day. I think it was Run DMC that did You Be Illin. You be illin. Uh, I'll do Aura in the seventh inning, Dire Giants fan. The the commercial breaks in baseball are, are quicker than the ones in basketball. Like basketball, I do it at halftime, right? So there there will be an Aura ad um, at some point. But Irish, thank you for dropping the link to the BetUS uh, app and the promo code join125. Appreciate that. Oh, God, Gary Thorne was great, uh, David. He was great. Pitch in there for a strike. And the count is 0-1. Top of the order for the Yanks, Glaber, Soto, and Judge. Glaber is 1-2 for two with an RBI. And the pitch is low, and the count's 1-1. One and one. Top of the fourth. Kyle Nelson replaced Ryan Nelson last inning. That pitch was below the knees and call of a strike. And count is one and two. So that was bullshit. Remember Heel? Remember he had a guy struck out. He had Kendall Marte struck out in the first inning with that pitch that was actually higher in the strike zone. It was not called a strike. Pitch bounce up there, two and two. Dashy, who is the umpire again? You said that he had an inconsistent strike zone. If Dashy's still in here, Ricky, what up? <laughs> you can't stand the Yankees. Go fill. I mean, why would the Yankees bother you? You should hate the Mets. The Yankees aren't your rival. Glaber swings and lines a base hit center field. <laughs> Start for the Yanks. I mean, I guess 2009 would bother you if you're a Phillies fan, but. I didn't even think about the Phillies at all. So Glaber's on at first with a leadoff single. And again, right back up the middle. Right back up the middle. Here is Juan Soto. I forgot who said they bet on him to get a hit. Hopefully he does. He takes upstairs from, oh, my God, a pitch is not a strike. So it was like, that's high. That ball was way out of the strike zone. Dodgers, Yankees, I hope so. I've been waiting for that for years. Soto, <laughs> Soto took a very, very, very angry swing on that. He took a, he was pissed. Yes, he did. That made me feel good. He said, this guy really knows baseball. You remember, Gabriel. Michael K said, I got a tweet from a friend, and this guy really knows baseball. And it was my exact video comparing the, the 98 Yankees to the 2022 Yankees. So it takes low. Counts one and two. Yes, he did. He said, this guy really knows baseball. That was my favorite part of it. I remember a guy DM'd me on Instagram, and he goes, are you Michael K's friend? And I'm like, no, why? He goes, because he quoted your video. Pitch inside two and two. And then I went back and I watched him. I'm like, holy shit, he totally stole my video. But I have the proof. I mean, I have the I have the video on my channel of me reading off the everything I said. And then he said it verbatim. I mean, can you at least give the bad dog some credit? Two, two. And Soto's called out on strikes. He didn't like that pitch either. He just stands in the batter's box and says a couple of words to the umpire and says, man, man that's bullshit. And he, well, that was some BS. Uh, I guess the only way to get Soto out now is by expanding the strike zone. You always know when the pitch is not a strike. All you got to do is watch the catcher, what they do with the glove. Look at how much he freaking grabs the glove and pulls it up. Look, if the umpire sees the catcher move the glove like that, he should know it's not a strike. If it was a strike, the catcher would not move the glove that much. It'll be one out and judge, one on, one out, pitch, judge way out in front of a slider, and the count is one and one. 
Five runs, six hits, no errors for the Yankees. One run, one hit, two errors for the Diamondbacks. Judge singled in the first. Hitting 167, just three for 18 on the early year. Judge with the open stance. Kyle Nelson set deals, and it's low. Count two and all. I see a big foam finger behind home plate. So I'm going to keep sticking the foam finger up in the air. And I just see it coming out of the umpire's head, and it is distracting the hell out of me. I can only imagine what the pitcher sees. Wonder how much those seats are. Two one. Judge way out in front of a slider again. Two and two. Pulled the string on him. Glaber's on a first. He let off with a single. Soto struck out on a couple of bullshit pitches that were not strikes. And now the count is even to Aaron Judge. Nelson deals. Judge swings and cues it to the second baseman. And Marte will throw him out. Glaber goes a second. Two outs for the Yanks. It'll bring up the first baseman, Anthony! Anthony Rizzo. So, runner in scoring position for Rizzo. Pitch in there for a strike. Count is 0-1. Big difference between Ryan Nelson and Kyle Nelson as Kyle Nelson has come out of the bullpen throwing strikes. The ump is ass, Daniel Jones. Yes, he is. Pitch. Swung on and ripped him. It's going to hang up. Boy, you can't hit it anymore now. And Anthony Rizzo hit an absolute tracer, but he hit it right to McCarthy, and that will retire the side. No runs, one hit, one left. We've played three and a half. Go to the bottom of the fourth. Yankees five, D-backs one. Damn it. And that ball hard as hell, but I had nothing to show for it. What up, everybody? Having a good Monday? Having a good April Fool's Day? Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. Let's go. Appreciate you being here. Let's get it done. Let's do it. 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 That's dead. Let's get it dead. Let's get it dead. That's dead. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Five one Yanks. I am surprised. No LA Lou tonight. I know Lou loves baseball, so I am. I'm surprised that Lou has not made his way to the stream. How's my same game parlay that I placed on Bet US going? Judge, you get a hit. You got that already. And the Yankees to get a hit. Judge to get a hit and the Yankees to get a hit. Hey, well, thank you for signing up. I bet you asked him. I appreciate you. But I don't know. Judge to get a hit. The Yankees to get a hit or a win. Judge already got his hit, so you're good there. Am I going to stream every Yankee game? No. No, maybe one a week. The Yankees play at seven, so it's like the Knicks. Like, that's just, that's impossible. It can't happen. This doesn't fit my schedule. I, I work 45 hours a week in a full-time job. And I have a wife and I have a seven-year-old kid pitch and I go to the gym five days a week. I'm not, I'm not like a lot of streamers that don't have wives and their job is YouTube and they don't go to the gym. Like I'm, I am a rare breed that does this like late at night when I should be sleeping and I just have everything else that goes on during the day pitch outside two and one. I do it because I love to do it. This is my dream job to call sports games and youtube allows me to do it with my own flair my own pizzazz outside three and one i can scream at the umpires i can swear 
I can drop a little 420. Smoke weed every day. I can do that. I, I can't do that on television. But I can't do the Yankees. Seven o'clock don't work. It don't work for me. Three one in there for a strike. And the count is full three and two. Christian Walker, Jock Peterson, and Eugenio Suarez, the middle of the order for the Diamondbacks, trail five to one. And the payoff pitch, swung on and miss, strike three. Good strike out for Luis Heel. One away here in the Diamondbacks fifth. That'll bring up Jacques Peterson. I'm looking at that pool, and I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, how many people you think piss in that pool? Like, you know how many drunk people are at a baseball game probably just sitting in the pool taking a leak? It's gross. Jacques takes outside 1-0. and oh. He'll now starting to get behind the hitters, which you do not want to see. It'll be a 1-0 to the big Peterson, and the patch is, the patch, the patch is way outside. <laughs> the patch is way outside. Yankees have scored five runs without the benefit of a home run. I mean, that's what you want to see. Swung and a miss. Good slider there by Heel. Count two and one. But you like to see the Yankees manufacturing runs, getting runs on the bases, sacrifice flies, two out hits. Like these are things that winning teams do. Two one in the, or low and in three and one. And that's why the Yankees have started off four and oh. That's why they were able to beat the Astros. Timely hitting, good pitching, good defense. These are things winning teams do. These are things that we did not see from this Yankee ball club last year. It'll be a 3-1. He'll just got to challenge us, dude. Pitch. That was a slider on 3-1. You got to help me. I'm an old school guy. I'm an old school baseball guy. You got to help me. 3-1. Nobody on. One out. Up 5-1. Why are we throwing a slider? Why are we throwing a slider? Why are we not just challenging with a fastball? Why are we not just saying, you know what, if you hit the ball, the freaking Tucson, Arizona, it's 5-2. to two. Pitch inside 1-0. and oh. To Eugene Arsuarez, he struck out his first at bat. Got to settle heel down. He is wild right now, and he throws another ball. He's overthrowing right now. Count is 2-0. and and You have a 5-1 lead, but you start getting behind hitters, especially this Diamondbacks team, man. You're going to lose that lead fast. Got to work ahead of the batters, especially when you have a lead. It'll be a 2-0 pitch. Swung on a grounded foul outside of third, and the count's 2-1. Definitely going to go over a little 643 here. Doesn't look like Heel is much of a ground ball pitcher, though. Do, do, do. Bet US available in Maine? Zach, yes, absolutely. Bet US should be available in Maine. Pitch. Swung and a miss. Counts two and two. As far as I know, Bet US is available in all 50 states. So it definitely should be available in Maine, my friend. Take advantage of I'm telling you guys, take advantage of that promo. You really can't get a better promo than that one. You really can't. 2-2. Two, two. Swung on a ground of foul. The count is 2-2. Two and two. But like I said, if you, if you use it, which I recommend you use it, just, like I said, always bet responsibly. You know, the 125% match is great, but if you can afford to deposit $100, deposit $100. Don't be like, well, I can't really afford $500, but I'm going to throw $500 in there so I get $625. Just bet within your parameters. 2-2. Two, two. Swung on and hit in the air to right field. And Soto is there. And there is two away. Can of corn there for Soto. Manuel, I'm going to be the man. You the man, buddy. Appreciate you guys signing up at BetUS, though. Really do appreciate that. Hopefully these guys, I'm hoping BetUS stays on board for football season because a lot of people like to bet on the football. You can still bet on football. I mean, you can't bet on games, obviously, but you can bet on futures. You can bet on the prop bets. You can do all that stuff. You can bet on the draft. Pitch. What a stop by Austin Wells. My goodness. That pitch was way outside. Wells went to the back, and that was an incredible stab. 
That was a great stop by Wells, whose stash is just amazing. It's in the Matt Carpenter stash variety. It'll be a 1 0. Pitch. Well, it's amazing. I mean, that pitch is called a strike to Juan Soto, but Luis Hill can't get the call. Count 2 0. Dashi, who's the freaking. Uh, Dashi, who's the umpire again? 2 0. Upstairs, 3 0. He definitely has an inconsistent strike zone, Dashi. Try to emulate your stash. Yeah, it's a, it's a good stash to emulate. It's a good stash to emulate. Carson Wentz went to the Chiefs. Pitch. In there for a strike. Three and one. Again, you're up 5-1, man. You got to stop working behind these hitters. Because Heel's now up to 72 pitches because he can't find the zone. Everybody has necklaces now. The 3-1. He freaking, oh, my God. That was not a strike. <laughs> Marino is pissed. I, I don't blame him. I, <laughs> that, that one was not a strike. That one was not a strike. This guy, Dash, you're right, dude. He is all over the place. This is an Angel Hernandez. I forgot what you said. It was. Larry Vanover, thank you. Pitch swung on and fouled away by Marino. Pitch was not a strike. I mean, this guy is, he's definitely got an inconsistent strike zone. Peterson will take off a first and a full count pitch, a two out spot on the fourth. The Yankees lead 5 1. Heel about to deal a payoff pitch, swung on and grounded to short right there as Volpe throws to Rizzo, and that we're at the other side. No runs, no hits, one left. We've played four full. We'll go to the top of the fifth. The good guys, five. The Diamondbacks, one. Larry Vanover, yes. Thank you, Dashy. Thank you. Oh, Dire Giant, yes. Thank you for dropping the... Uh, that is the video. That is the video. They do watch. I mean, they, they do. I know they do for a fact. I know they do for a fact. I mean, when Chris and I have done the... Uh, show up patty she talked to nick gates and nick gates said to her who are those two guys that you do the show with and she's like what two guys and he's like those those two guys and she's like chris and bad dog and he's like i don't know i know they are he goes but those two guys really know their shit so he watches like they do watch you'd be surprised at some of the people that watch your videos i told you xavier mckinney's mom was a was a huge fan uh of mine and i didn't know i remember when i bought the mckinney jersey he sent me a video of them watching my video on uh on their big tv and she's like yeah i'm xavier mckinney's mom she's like we're huge fans we watch all your videos who would have known who would have known i'm gonna miss x man he was he was definitely he was my favorite giant man I'm not buying any more Giants jerseys either. Yeah, I mean, I but the last two jerseys I bought, Saquon and Xavier McKinney, neither, neither one of them are here anymore. So no more Giants jerseys. Not unless it's like a Carl Banks or Bavaro or somebody that retired a Giant. Or, you know, is in the Ring of Honor or whatever. Um, uh, yeah. So we'll go to the top of the fifth inning. And it will be Stanton, Verdugo, and Volpe. Six strike gods for heel this evening. I'd like to see Giancarlo just hit one to the moon. He takes a strike at the knees, and the count is 0-1. Player in the top of the fifth inning, the Yankees five, the Diamondbacks one. Yankees scored two in the second, three in the third. Diamondbacks got their lone run in the bottom of the third. 0-1. Stanton swings and misses by three feet, and the Count as a one two. Five, six, and over the Yanks, one, one, and two for the D-backs. Stanton trying to square one up. The pitch. Stanton grounds it right to third. Suarez over to first. One away here in the Yankee fifth. A 
Kadarius Tony, he must have watched. Why would he block me? I never said anything to him on Twitter. I never tagged him. I never added him. I never did anything. But I made videos. The next thing I know, he blocked me. He didn't say shit to me, though. Sometimes he lashed out at fans. That dude didn't say one peep to me. In there for a strike. Pitch looked like it was outside. Oh, one to Verdugo. He's over one with a walk. I would have sliced Kadarius Tony up if he said something to me. Oh, one. And again, the pitch is off the plate. This guy, is, this umpire sucks the fat baby's ass. I don't know what to say. Strike zone is all over the place. I need Verdugo to hook me up with the chain, man. I don't really like the diamond look, though, but I'll take another gold chain. Like, I like the way the gold looks on me. The O2 upstairs, one and two. Like, I don't think I can pull off the, I don't know if that's platinum, platinum diamonds. It's, I mean, it's out of my, it's not even in my zip code as far as affordability goes. But he could hook, he could hook a brother up. One, two, swung on in line to third. Suarez on one hop. There was the first, and Verdugo is retired. Two quick outs here in the Yankee fifth. That'll bring up the shortstop, Anthony Volpe, who's had a perfect night tonight. He is two for two. Scored a run. I actually think Verdugo was, or I'm sorry, I think Volpe scored two runs. But Volpe's approach is so much better at the beginning of the year. That will end it for Kyle Nelson. Castro is going to come out of the pen to face Anthony Volpe. So two outs, nobody on top of the fifth pitching change being made here in Arizona. 5-1 Yanks. But I understand they have a contract because they, they're, they got guaranteed contracts in baseball. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Guaranteed contracts. That's that's why. That's why. Yeah, I'm gonna miss X without question. But Yankees up five one. Do, 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 it's funny, man, doing a late Yankees game. We'll be doing an early Laker game. Yeah. It's weird. The good thing about the Lakers, though, when the Lakers play at 7 o'clock, well, it kind of screws my schedule up. Uh, I do get to bed early. I mean, th those games are over so early. I can still hang out with my kid. My kid's off anyway. It's spring recess, so he's off anyway. So I'll be able to hang out with him tomorrow. Lions Mania, they are they are off to a good start. No question. They're gonna go five and oh. Uh, he's still playing because he got a 13 year contract. I mean, they, the Yankees still have I think he still has like four years on that contract. So Yankees, they must uh, play again tomorrow at the same time. I would imagine batting practice stays at 8.30. So I'd imagine the pregame's at 9 and the first pitch will be at 9.40. So Miguel Castro, third pitcher of the night for Arizona. Very lanky gentleman. And here's Anthony Volpe. Perfect night tonight. Two for two for Anthony. This guy looks like a tall drink of water on the mound. And he, that pitch was not even close to a strike, man. Come on. Volpe, two for two, a double, a single, a couple runs scored, and an RBI. That pitch was not even close. Surprised he didn't call that one a strike. Almost hit him in the knee. Count one and one. Wow, is right. <laughs> Giants fan. The Yankees didn't give him that contract, Snipes. The Marlins gave him that contract. The Yankees traded Starlin Castro and somebody else to get him. 2-1. And this swung on a miss there by Volpe, and the count is 2-2. Two two. Volpe hasn't swung a miss. I think it's only the third time this year that he has swung and missed. 
Castro deals. Volpe swings and lines it, base hit center field. Boy, Anthony Volpe is on a heater, baby. I used to play the Sinatra when it would come up, but the uh, the the gods above did not like the Sinatra, so I cannot play that. But Volpe lines a base hit to center field. So he's on to us. See if he tries to steal. He's got good speed. Austin Wells at the plate. Walls flew out and hit a sacrifice fly. He's 0 for 1 officially. Swings and misses at a fastball. The count is 0 and 1. Austin Wells with a couple of good at bats. The first at back got the run on the third with one out, which led to a score. Wells takes outside. The count's 1 and 1. And then he hit a sacrifice fly in the third, which led to a run and a throwing error, allowed Volpe to score. One of the best stashes in the game. For Mr. A in W, the 1 1, and Wells hits a home run in a silo, but it goes foul behind home plate, and the count's 1 and 2. Yeah, he looks really good right now. He looks really good right now. Does, uh, does Anthony Volpe? He looks amazing, frankly. Uh, Weaver warming in the pen for the Yanks. One, two. Wells cues it foul off a third, and the count remains one and two. Tell the fifth one on two outs. Yanks five, Diamondbacks one. And the one two pitch incoming here from Castro. The righty sets and deals, and Wells hits a slow shots foul. Oh, it's a fair ball. I thought that ball was behind on plate. That was a fair ball. Can we get a look at that? Wells thought that was foul. I thought that was foul. I didn't think the catcher caught that in front of home plate, but he tags Wells out. And then I'll retire the side. No runs, one hit, one left. We played four and a half. We're halfway through, five one Yanks. Uh, Draymond is an idiot, Dashy. We know that. Calva, what up? I don't think your Diamondbacks are in trouble. You're three and one. Still early in the game. I feel like the Yankees could have got a couple more runs. Remember, they left the bases loaded in the first. So. Yeah, I do think the ump is drunk. I don't know what he's drinking, but he's sipping on something. He ain't sipping on Diet Coke, I can tell you that. Let's got a little Jack in there. A little Jack Daniels. Five one Yanks, bottom of the fifth. Uh, Mets, the tickets for Mets games always be cheaper than the tickets for Yankee games. It's kind of like the Barclays Center. The tickets for the Barclays Center are nothing compared to Madison Square Garden. It's the venue. That's why Yankee Stadium's venue is just way, way more popular than City Field. Although I've never been to City Field, it looks beautiful. I would like to go to City Field one of these days. So Luis Heal, some 75 pitches through four. He's going to try to qualify for the win. He has to get through this inning if he is to do so. We Luke Weave up in the pen. McCarthy up there takes a strike, and Vanover strike zone has gotten very wide, and the count is 0-1. McCarthy got the first hit from the Diamondbacks, and he scored in the third as their lone run. The 0-1 swung on and fouled away. Count quickly 0-2 to McCarthy. This is what you want from Luis Heal. You're at 5-1. You want to get ahead of the hitters. 
Ah, it's Queens. The Mets are in Queens. It'll be an 0-2 pitch. Low and outside, 1-2. Five one Yanks, McCarthy leading off. McCarthy, Perdomo, top of the order. Marte swung and missed. Strike three. Blew right on, right on by him. <laughs> one away here in the Diamondbacks. Fifth, that'll bring up Geronimo Perdomo. Good fastball there by Heel ninety eight. Blew it right on by. Pitch in there for a strike. Perdomo ran up to bunt, took it for a strike, count 0 1. Heel about to deal the 0 on the pitch off the corner, but Vanover strike zone all of a sudden has gotten very wide. Counts 0 and 2. If I was heel, I would go outside even wider, see if we can get Perdomo to chase. Well, sets up high, and the pitch is up there, and it's fouled away, and the count is remains 0-2. Showing Garrett Cole there. Thank God he didn't need Tommy John surgery. Heel deals the 2 swung on and ground a foul. First base coach makes the play and gives the ball to somebody in the stands. Nobody on bottom of the fifth, one out, 0-2 pitch, Yanks five, Diamondbacks one. Heel kicks and deals, and he swings and grounds a right to Glaber. Up with it, throws to Rizzo, and that retires Perdomo. Two away here in the Diamondbacks fifth. We'll turn over the order to Kettle Marte. And... Oh, you got to be kidding me, Boone. You got to be kidding me. Wow, what are you doing? Why would Aaron Boone take that kid out one out away from getting a win? Unless he was on a pitch count. Unless he was on a pitch count of like 85, why would you do that to that kid? He's up by four runs. Nobody's on at the bottom of the fifth with two outs. He needs to get one more out and he qualifies for the win. He had to be on a pitch count. That is the only reason Boone could have made that move. Had to be on a pitch count. Had to be on like 85 pitches. Wow. Wow. Didn't see that one coming. Didn't see that one coming. I can't believe he took him out there. How to be in a pitch count, guys. That's all I that's all I could think of. Jake, what up, Black Canary? How you doing? Arctic, what's up? Appreciate you guys being here. Hit the thumbs up if you haven't. Well, Torval Island, like I said, I, I have to imagine Keel was on a pitch count. I, I don't know why else he would take him out in that situation. Got to imagine. I don't know what Michael K is saying. I mean, everybody's getting a laugh out of it. I, I don't know what's I, – I don't – he had to be in a pitch count. It's all I can think of. 
The pitch is low. Luke Weaver in the game for the Yanks had a nice three and six with a 6.40 ERA last year. Gave up 29 freaking home runs. The dude sucks. Count one and one. I don't get it. I, I, I move totally confused me. One one pitch outside two and one. Two out, somebody on bottom of the fifth. The Yankees five, Diamondbacks one. Kettle Marte is got no official at bat. He walked in at a sack fly. So officially zero for zero. Two one. Got in on his hands, and a blooper lands foul just outside the dugout, and the count is two and two. Kettle Marte did not have an official at bat, but his on base percentage got lowered with the sack fly. Five one Yanks. We were trying to put away Cattell Marte. We were very slight. He comes set out the chest. Bad deal a 2 2. And the righty deals. Swung on and grounded inside a third. Fair ball into left field. Verdugo up with it. And Marte, the good piece of hitting, is on a first two outs. It's kind of inside out of that one. Verdugo is playing off the Verdugo. Cabrera was playing off the line. And Marte just hit it where he wasn't. Then I bring up Corbin Carroll. He is over two tonight against Heel. Weaver chucks the ball over to first, and Marte is back. I really wouldn't worry about the runner when you're up by four runs. This run doesn't mean a whole hell of a lot. Get the guy at the plate. Weaver set at the letters. The righty kicks and deals, and it's in there for a strike. The count is 0-1. The Yankees got two in the second, three in the fourth. Diamondbacks got their, I'm sorry, two in the second, three in the third. Diamondbacks got their run in the third as well. We were trying to get out of it here in the fifth. Deals bounced up there. Good stop by Wells. And the runner holds at first, and the count's one and one. Yankees trying to start 5 and 0. Oh, I don't remember the last time they started a the season 5 and 0. Oh. <clears throat> the 1-1 one, one, outside 2 and 1. I know the first time it was the first time they started 3 and 0 oh since 2003. I'm not sure the last time they started 5 and 0. Oh. They're looking to do that here in 2024. Weaver Set of the chest and a timeout called. Pitch will not count. Two and one. Actually, did he not throw the pitch in time? I think that was a pitch clock violation. Two one. Swung on and grounded. Nice play by Rizzo. Goes in the bag himself. And retires Carol, and that will retire the side. No runs, one hit, one left. We've played five full. We'll go to the top of the sixth. The Yankees five, the Diamondbacks one. You know what I need? I need like some AM. Like I need some like. Let me see. Uh. We need like one. We need like uh, one of these right here. We need like one of these.
All right, we gotta get <laughs> we gotta get a little commercial. <laughs> we gotta get a little commercial break in there. I gotta buy like the old the old Yankee stuff, little Ballantine ale. There is the no hitter by Ronel Blanco. Wow, the seventeenth no hitter in Astros. Of course, they did that to the Yankees. Uh, was it last year or the year before? They had like, and, and I remember they did it twice. They they had a six. They had like six pitchers no hit the Yankees years ago, and then I believe they no hit them last year. I know Nolan Ryan had a few of those. That pitch is outside, but call it a strike. His van over strike zone is extremely wide. It'll be Cabrera, Glaber, and Soto here in the top of the sixth for the Yanks who lead 5-1. to one. And That pitch is low by Castro, and the count's 1-1. One one. Cabrera is 1-2 for two tonight. Castro deals. Cabrera takes. Vanover wanted to call that a strike, and he decided not to, and the count's 2-1. and one. The ump is ridiculous. I agree, Arnick. He is ridiculous. The 2-1. Swung on and grounded right back to Castro. He underhands to first, and Cabrera's retired. One away here in the Yankee sixth. We'll go to the top of the lineup. With Glaber Torres. Chris Sale pitched well in his Braves debut. Whoever Shata Imangana Imanaga is. He pitched well against Colorado. Mookie Betts red hot to start season. Glaber's had a good night inside. Count is 1 0 to Glaber. He's got a couple of hits. And drove in a run. He's two for three. I haven't got to do my bye, Felicia call yet. Waiting for that home run. Glaber took a swing for a home run, fouled it straight back, and the count's one and one. I haven't got to do my I haven't got to do my patented home run call yet. We're looking for it. And it'll be a one one. Way out in front of a slider. Pulled the string on him. The count's one and two. 5-1 Yanks. Top of the sixth. Castro about to deal. Glaber pops it up foul, and it goes out of play, and he stays alive. Juan Soto awaiting on deck. Yeah, Dyer Johnson, I could definitely use a couple more runs uh, without question. One, two. Glaber takes in off the plate. The count's even at two and two. One out. Nobody on top of the fifth. Two, two pitch from Castro to Glaber. Glaber takes it just off the plate. And the count is full three and two. So Vanover's. Strike zone is not wide to the righties. It is wide to the lefties. Kester is a tall drink of water out there. Payoff pitch. Glaber gets his bat on it and hits it. And it's going to stay in play as Walker makes the catch right in front of the gate. Two outs for the Yanks. Yankers. Uh, I forgot I have this one for, I got, I got to do that when they foul some pitches away. Here's Juan Soto over two. He walked in the first. Pitch. Soto takes a massive cut and misses, trying to make it 6-1. The count's 0-1-1. Soto struck out in some BS the last time he was up at the plate. The 0 1, he went around in that fastball as well. The count is 0 2. Soto has gotten fooled a couple of times tonight. 
wasn't fooled much in Houston at all. It'll be an 0-2 to Juan Soto. Two out, somebody on top of the six. Yankees five, Diamondbacks one. Castro deals. Soto takes way upstairs. Count one and two. He wasn't going to chase that one. He wasn't going to chase that one. You have to refresh that. I don't know what's going on with the bat in there. Soto grounds a weekly to second. Right there is Marte. Throws in a first. And that will retire the side. Yang's going to order in their half of the sixth inning. We'll go to the bottom of the six. Five one Yanks. Let's see if I can refresh this. I don't know why that's doing that. There we go. Oh, no, I see that. Oops. I don't need that much of it on there. I just want that to the bottom of the screen. There we go. That's what I want. That's what I want on the scoreboard. Oh, I forgot I had this. I forgot I had. Thought I even had that one there. Well, going to the bottom of the sixth. Diamondbacks of Guriel Walker and Peterson. You know, it's funny. I watched all those Yankee games in Houston, and I swear the games were like two hours and 15 minutes, two hours and 20 minutes. I'm going to say it's Javi Vasquez. And then I I do this game, it's going to take four hours. Let's see if I'm right. Is it Javi Vasquez? Come on. Oh, let's go. Bad dogs one for one. Let's go. Let's go. Give me my stick of bubble gum. Here's Guriel. He takes outside. Luke Weaver still out there for the Yanks. We play here in the bottom of the sixth. He's over two. He's popped up and struck out. Weaver deals. Swung on and fouled away. And the count is one and one. You don't ever know a baseball there. That's what, that's what John Sterling says. Can't predict baseball, Susan. Can't predict baseball. 1-1. One, one. Inside 2-1. One, one. Yeah, the pitch clock is still out there. They're definitely using it. It just seems like this game is just dragging after the – maybe it's just because of the excitement in the first couple of innings, and, and now they went, you know – a lot of scoreless innings. That pitch is fouled away. I also think the pitchers are throwing a lot of balls. Like uh, the batters are much more patient in this game, but they do have a pitch clock. Yes, it'll be a two-two from Weaver to Guriel, leading off the bottom of the sixth for the Diamondbacks. Weaver deals, swung on and fouled away, and the count remains even at two and two. Uh, we're back as a franchise. I hope so. I hope so. Yankees lead 5 1 in the bottom of the sixth. Weaver deals, swung on, and grounded a short. Volpe has it, throws to Rizzo, one away here in the Diamondback sixth. Yeah, I think that's what it was. 
uh, Dyer Johnson. And I just think because of the excitement. Of the, and then the next three innings was nothing. And sometimes in the innings, you know, when there's nothing really going on, it seems like they're longer than they are. I mean, the game is just two hours old right now. So I've definitely called some longer, longer games. Plus, you know, I'm also, you got to remember, like I'm conditioned for basketball, which basketball games are about two and a half hours. That pitch is swung on and hit in the air to shallow right coming on. And Soto, he makes a diving catch. And then he rolls on his back and he gets up. And Judge says, you okay, little man? Because <laughs> the judge, everybody's little. So Soto didn't get the best break and the ball. It comes in and makes the backhanded sliding catch. There's two away here in the D-back sixth. And then I bring up Jacques Peterson with two outs and nobody on. But yeah, I think that's what it is. I'm just so conditioned for, for basketball. It's such a you know a fast paced game, and the, the games are two and a half, sometimes two hours and twenty minutes, and that's what it is. I think I'm just you know getting used to the pace of baseball. Pitches upstairs counts one zero. Oh. I do love calling the baseball games though. Without question, crazy sifter, definitely uh, new hitting coach helping the. The approach by the Yankees batters is so different the first five games than it was all last year. So without question. It'll be a 2-0 pitch to Jacques Peterson. Batting with two outs, nobody on in the bottom of the sixth. Weaver deals. Peterson takes a massive rip and comes up empty. And the count is 2-1. Aaron Boone looking like he's tired as he looks like uh, he had a hard night of drinking. I've been in that position before. Not fun. Pitch. Swung on and fouled away. Jam shot. And the count is even at two and two. Twenty pitches by Luke Weaver. He came out in relief of Luis Heel in the fifth. Pitch bounced up there and counts full three and two. Come on, man. Come on, man. Luke Weaver's got the uh scored the blue sneakers, the blue cleats there. It'll be a payoff pitch. Weaver deals a three two. That was a fucking strike. That ball was a strike. So Vanover's strike zone, he, I mean, Vanover must be drunk because he's obviously cockeyed because the dude is calling pitches that are a foot off the plate and the right-handed batter's box is strike. That pitch was all over the inside corner. Definitely a strike. Should have been struck out, and he gives the guy the walk. That was bullshit. Bullshit. Pitches fouled away by Suarez. Counts on one. What a crock. Terrible. This umpire is total cheeks. Dude is buns. A one. And that pitch, that pitch is farther off the plate than the one he called ball for, and he called that one a strike. Can somebody tell me what the hell's going on? Dashy, you know about the umps. It'll be an 0-2 upstairs, 1-2. One, one out, one out. Oh, I'm sorry. Two outs, one on, bottom of the six. Yankees five, Diamondbacks one. We were trying to get out of it here in the sixth. The righty set out the letters. He kicks, he deals. It's high in the count. Two and two. I don't think Weaver can strike anybody out. He doesn't have plus stuff. He did have Peterson struck out, but the ump called it a ball. It'll be a 2 2 2 Eugenio Suarez. Weaver deals outside three and two. So now Peterson will get a head start. Suarez has worked the count from 0-2 to full. Now 
And the pitch. Swung on and grounded a third. Cabrera throws across the diamond of Rizzo in time. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, one left. We played six full innings. We'll go to the top of the seventh. The Yankees lead five to one. No, Dyer Johnson says it all the time. These guys need to be held accountable, man. This guy's having a shit game behind the plate. He's having a, he's having a shit game. Um... I just feel like in the middle of the inning, I need to have like you know, a classic commercial in there for some reason. We got one there. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell, guys and girls. How many likes we got anyway? How many likes we got? We got 134 likes. So you get a couple of more in here. Yankees five, D Max one. Now we go to the top of the seventh. It'll be Judge Rizzo and Stanton. Judge checked his swing and the appeal, and he did not go. Count one and over to Judge. He's one for three. Singled back in the first. Just three for 19 in the early season. Castro's still out there. Deals that's inside, but he calls it a strike. And the count's one and one. This umpire is just total. It's buns, man. The guy's just buns. One, one. Judge had a good swing at that fastball, but he fouled the back, and you can just tell the timing's off just a bit. Counts one and two. Of course, Judge had the oblique injury in spring training. I don't know how much that's lingering right now, but he is he's not looked like himself. He did have a good at bat his first at bat. He took a fastball uh down the middle, right back up the middle. That's right, as my son would say, Dan, booty cakes. He Total booty cakes. Pete loves that one. The one, two. It almost hit his belt buckle. He got out of the way, and that counts two and two. Five, one Yanks as we play here in the top of the seventh. Castro out de la two, two to judge. Judge swings and lines it, but playing him perfectly was Kettle Marte. And he is out. Judge also has a nice chain. Of course, when you have $360 million, you can pretty much buy whatever the hell you want. One out here in the Yankee sevens. And it'll bring up Anthony Rizzo. And good job there by Miguel Castro. But he's faced his last batter, so he will be replaced. One out in the top of the seventh. Nobody on. And Manaply will come in here. Mantiply. Mantiply. Nana two ply. Yeah, I need a buy Felicia Dyer Johns, man. We haven't we haven't had one of those. We haven't had Otis he is under the influence. <laughs> He's definitely under the influence. He's the big judge is hurt. I mean, listen, obliques are weird. We you never know, especially you know, they pull their oblique a lot because it is a lot of torque. And your hips and obliques. So 
especially when you're that big. I got to imagine, and, and it could be affecting his swing. Although I, he had a good approach there. Just Marte, Marte was playing him perfectly. He hit the ball back up the middle. That's what he did his first at bat. Yeah, that's the whole thing. When when uh, when Judge gets hot, it's gonna be scary. And like I said, hopefully, you know, Juan Soto is going to cool off at some point. You hope that that's when Judge gets hot. Soto's contract, I'm going to say 10 years, 450. He's not going to get Otani money. Nobody's going to get, nobody's going to get Otani money. What did Otani get? Like 680 million? He ain't going to get that. He might get 10 years, 450, maybe, maybe 475. I don't know what it's going to be, Dan, but the Yankees better be paying that contract. That that much I know. Wow, Yankees play the Blue Jays. Oh, they're they're starting at eleven thirty. On yes, but the game doesn't start at eleven thirty. I'll be out of town when that's going on. I'll still watch the game, of course. I forgot. I think Harper got. 13 years, 12 years. He got a lot. Harper is really good. Yeah, I want to know. Somebody brought up a tweet that I that I had when they signed the contract. I said, I think that's too much. I think that I said the Phillies might regret that one at the end. Some guy brought that up from like six years ago. Man apply deals low to an O. I love when people bring up fucking tweets and videos from like five years ago. It's like, bro, get a life. I mean, my God. That shit is so old. Don't you have anything else to do? Things change in five years. A lot changes in five years. 2-0. In there for a strike. I forgot to give Rizzo his walk-up music. Let me do that now. It'll be a 3-0 to Rizzo. Does he have the green light? And he did. And he hit it weekly to first. Walker, I hate that. I hate when they swing on 3-0 and on a pitch that is not good. And that pitch was inside. Rizzo got himself out. I, I don't like that. It just wasn't a good pitch to hit. Then I bring up Giancarlo Stanton. This is usually where Stanton hits his bomb, right? Stanton's 3 for 16 on the early year. But Stanton, this is the type 5-1, two outs, nobody on top of the 7. This is where Stanton usually hits the home run. He takes it outside. So umpire just has no clue where the strike zone is. No clue. That pitch has been called a ball the number of times tonight. A strike, he don't know. Oh, one. Stanton fouls it away. Count quickly, 0 oh, 2. He really has no clue where the hell the strike zone is. You know? Here's John Sterling. God bless him. He's like 85, 86 years old. Still full of energy. They, oh, two. Stanton swings and misses. What a shitty at bat by Stanton. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Or do we have Stanton? <laughs> Yankees go one, two, three, and they're half of the seventh. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh. Get up and stretch. Yankees five, Diamondbacks one. I'm going to go hit the potty. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you guys, girls. Going to run my quick ad here for my sponsor, Aura. You guys should sign up for Aura. Seriously, man. You guys should get yourself some free, uh, get yourself some free internet security. I'll be right back. This video is brought to you by the good people at Aura.com. Have you guys ever done a Google search for your name or email address? You might be surprised at the amount of information that comes up out there. It makes me uncomfortable and it should make you uncomfortable too. That's why I have Aura.com. Data brokers sell your information to scammers, spammers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, email address, home address, health records, relatives, it's all out there. And that's why I've been using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. 
Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but it protects me from hackers who could use this information to help them access my social media accounts, bank accounts, and other sensitive information. Aura also does so much more to protect me and my family from online threats I can't see. I get other features like antivirus, VPN, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more without having to download several different apps. It's really easy to set up. And best of all, I get everything at one affordable price, which is about $12 a month. You may already have one or two of these tools, but not having auras like locking the front door and leaving the back door wide open. I value my privacy and you should value yours too. You can go to the link in the description to start your free two-week trial. Stop data brokers from exposing your personal information. Go to my sponsor. Aura.com to get that free 14-day trial and see how much of your information is being sold. Back just in time for the pitch is a strike to Marino, and the count is 0-1. It'll be the bottom of the order, Marino, McCarthy, and Perdomo for Arizona, trailing 5-1 here in the bottom of the seventh. Pitch upstairs, and the count is even at 1-1. Oh, uh, yeah, they're never around the wrong dire Giants fans. It's just that's just what typers do, bro. It just made me laugh. I didn't even know. Like, I'm like, what is this that I'm being tagged in? And I saw it's just some Bryce Harper fan. I'm like, how did he even see that comment? I don't even remember making that. I, I was barely on Twitter. That was what back in the day when I say follow me on the Twitters. It was like when I first started my Twitter account. I wanted the Yankees to get Bryce Harper, though. That I know. I know that. One, two. Bounce up there. Two and two. Marino over two tonight. Five, seven, and oh for the Yankees. One, two, and two for the D backs. All the runs in the game came in the first three innings. The 2-2 pitch from Weaver. Swung on a line, base hit center field. And that's actually going to split the outfielders and go all the way to the wall. Marino on his way to third, and he will be there with a leadoff triple. So a good start here to the Diamondbacks' seventh. Hanging, hanging sliders, man. They go a long way. Well, that's the thing, Dan. I mean, that's you know, I made, I made what twenty two hundred videos, and God only knows how many hundreds of tweets. I mean, of course, I'm going to be wrong at some point. Everybody's wrong at some point. It's just people they they have to feel better about themselves. Like their life sucks, so they just feel like I'm going to say this guy was wrong, and it makes me feel better about myself. I don't understand that, but teach your own. Pitches fouled away. The count's on two. I'd rather worry about myself than worry about what somebody else is tweeting or. The fact that I was right and they were wrong. I don't care. You know how many times I've been right about quarterbacks? My God, I've been right more. I've been right a lot more about quarterbacks than I've been wrong about them. But I don't care if people are wrong or right. You're human. People are going to be wrong and they're going to be right. 0 2 swung on and grounded to first. And the ball is kicked by Rizzo, and that's an E3. Runner reaches and. Uh, runner did not score, which I don't know what exactly Marino was doing, but E3 on Rizzo. So that's a bad error. And now the Diamondbacks have a threat. Runners at the corners and nobody out. Just a lazy job by Anthony Rizzo. Didn't look the ball into the glove. Very nonchalant and it cost him. And that'll bring up Perdomo. Use a double play right here. Weaver's throwing 36 pitches. I don't know if anybody's warming up in the pen for the Yankees. The pitch. 
And that pitch was upstairs. It was called a strike. It was a late strike. If the count is 0-1. Geraldo Perdomo is 0-1. for 1. He with a walk. Yankees looking to get a double play if possible. They will give up the run here for an out. Weaver set out the chest. He deals. Low 1-1. One one. Five one Yanks. Weaver set at the chest. Righty deals. Got in on his hands. And Perdomo fouled that away. He probably swung at a ball. I'll count one or two. Caught Austin Wells on the backswing. He said, You are right. Caught him right in a right in a face mask. Wells has his name on his chest protector in case he forgets who he is. It'll be a one-two. Weaver can't strike anybody out. He throws over to first, and McCarthy gets back. Runners at the corners with nobody out. The bottom of seven, the Yankees five, the Diamondbacks one. The 1-2 from Weaver to Perdomo. Long set pitch upstairs, 2-2. Two and two. The Yankees have got to, got to get somebody up in the pen. Weaver's throwing 40 pitches. It'll be a 2-2 two -two pitch. Weaver deals. Low 3-2. So one pitch away from loading the bases and bringing up the tying run. Of course, the Yankees didn't get the benefit of a day off here. They played four straight in Houston, and they went right to Arizona. So no break off for the bullpen. The payoff pitch to Perdomo. Weaver sets, kicks, and deals, and it hit him. So Diamondbacks have the bases loaded with nobody out. Boone's gonna see if he swung. He did not. I mean, hung up the hung up the phone really quick. Oh, I think Boone's saying to hit the bat. I hit his elbow. What is Boone doing? I didn't hit his bat. And I'm right in the freaking forearm. What is, is Boone drunk? Why would you challenge that? It's not even close. It's not even close. I'm showing you all the pitches that these guys threw. Jake Cousins hasn't thrown anything. Victor Gonzalez, too, on Friday. But four pitchers do yesterday. They could bring in Ian Hamilton. I I guess they're saving Hamilton. Well, that's got to be Hamilton right there. Nope, it's Birdie. <clears throat> Maybe they're saving Hamilton for the ninth with Holmes pitching yesterday and pitching three of the four games in, Arizona, or in uh, Houston. Dan, I think they're going to save Hamilton for the ninth. I, I I, think that Clay Holmes pitched three out of four in Houston, so they probably want the hammer for the ninth. So the Dimebacks are the legit threat, and the Yankees trying to wiggle out of this one. Weaver is still in there. Marte fouls it off his leg, and the count's 0-1. Yankees could really use a double play right here. Marte represents a tying run at home plate. Bases loaded, nobody out in the bottom of the seventh for the Diamondbacks. The Yankees led this one 5 0 early on. The pitch. Rip 
right to Soto. And he will throw it in. It's cut off. Run scores. It's 5-2. to two. Runner does go to third. So now runners at the corners with one out. And Weaver got very lucky there as Marte hit an absolute seed to Juan Soto. They'll bring up Corbin Carroll. Carroll over three of the couple of strikeouts. And the pitch swung on a missed. And yes, again, guys and girls, ESPN scoreboard screwing up like only they can. It is five to two. Pitch popped up. Wells has a play on it, but it's going to be Cabrera coming in. That's a big out. Cabrera makes the play in foul territory. And there's two away. It is five to two. There is two outs. But again, ESPN is such trash. Unfortunately, the MLB app, like it does not work. So I have to use this crap. So Weaver's got to get one more here in Lourdes Guriel. He bats with runners at the corners and two outs now. 5-2 Yanks run in here for the D-backs. Pitch. Up. It's, pitch is not close to a strike, but called one anyway in the count's 0-1. The 0-1 from Weaver to Guriel. Righty deals, low, one to one We don't understand what the deal is with the ESPN scoreboard, but once again, it's crap. Pitch. Big swing and a foul, and the count's one and two. All right, let's see those clapping legs. Let's see the clapping emojis in the chat. Come on, baby. Throw the clapping emoji in the chat. We need a freaking K. Can you get one, Weaver? Can you get one? Pitch. Call the ball. They wanted that one. Count two or two. Weaver throws over to first, and again, I wouldn't worry about that guy. Get the freaking guy to plate. Big spot here for Weaver and the Yankees. Weaver has thrown 50 pitches in relief of Luis Heel. The 2-2 swung on and ripped to left, right to Verdugo. My God, the Yankees and Luke Weaver got lucky. Two absolute seeds. One hit to the right, one hit to the left. But the Yankees get out of it. One run, one hit, uh, one left. I'm sorry, two left. We played seven full to go to the top of the eighth. It is the Yankees five and the Arizona Diamondbacks one. Big shout out to Bet US guys, girls for sponsoring the channel. If you want to bet on tonight's baseball game, you can still do some live betting where you can bet baseball, football, basketball, hockey, snooker, lacrosse. You can bet all basketball leagues overseas. You can bet on pretty much anything horse racing. You can bet on rugby. You can bet on NASCAR. You can bet on politics. You can bet on anything. You can play some casino games too. Click the link in the description. Enter the promo code JOIN125. Take advantage of the best. Betting app, the best promotion of any betting app on uh, going on right now. Click that link in the description of the promo code JOY125. BetUS is going to give you a 125% match deposit on your first three deposits, all the way up to a $2,500 bonus. And you can do that three times. They also give you 10% gamblers insurance against all your net losses. 
They have, as long as you stay active every six months, they have great customer service and payouts in 24 hours. Take advantage of the best betting app right now, the best promotion. It's BetUS. Link's in the description. Enter that promo code JOY125. So, for example, if you deposit $500 by clicking that link and using the promo code JOY125, you put in $500, you get $1,125 to play with because BetUS will give you an extra $625. You put in $100, Bet US will give you an extra $125 on top of your $100. You put in $2,000, they'll give you an extra $2,500 to play with. So your $2,000 plus their $2,500. Take advantage of that. Have fun with it, but always bet responsibly. Never bet more than you can afford to lose. See that guy right there? I guarantee you he pisses in the pool. See that guy? That's what I'm talking about. Remember when I said how many people you think piss in that pool? That fat guy right there, that dude right there with all those beers in front of him, he pisses in the pool. I guarantee it. I guarantee that dude pisses in the pool. Pitch to Doogie is grounded foul. Mantiply is still out there. Top of the eighth inning. Yankees lead this one five to two. Yeah, I don't know how you bet on politics, but you can. I, I don't know what. I don't know how you do it. I've never done it, but they, there is a political. There is you can bet on politics. I, I don't know. Oh one. Verdugo inside outs and foul. The count's 0 and 2. It'll be Verdugo, Volpe, and Wells. Boone talking to Rizzo about the error. 0 2. Verdugo pops it up foul and running over to make a nice running catch is Eugenio Suarez. One away here in the Yankees. Suarez, rather, one away here in the Yankees. Uh, way here in the Yankees eighth. That's what I want. The Yankees are six out outs away from starting five and oh. G G G G. Wolpe's had a perfect night. Three for three. A couple singles, a double, an RBI, and a run scored, and a good swing. We foul the back of the count's 0 1. One out, nobody on in the top of the eighth. The Yankees lead 5 to 2. Mantiply dealing from the left side. And he deals, and Volpe takes it outside, and the count's 1 and 1. Pitch clock down to five. Mantiply is going to have to throw. He does. And way outside, two and one to Volpe. Austin Wells waits on deck. It'll be a two one pitch outside and high. Van overthought about it. Does not call it three and one. Bluegrass, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Brilly, brilly, brother. Let me get a couple of a couple of coinage. What up, bad dog? What up, bluegrass? Pitch foul the way there by Volpe, and the count is full of three and two. My man. Yeah, he already he, the umpire's been all over the place. He doesn't know what the hell is a strike and what the hell is a ball. No clue. No clue. It'll be a payoff pitch here to Volpe. The lefty man applies sit of the chest. He kicks, he deals. Volpe swings and lines the ball down the line. Base hit into the corner. Volpe will have extra bases. He takes the turn. What a start to the season for this kid. Four for four tonight. Couple of doubles, couple of singles, an RBI, couple runs scored. Have himself a night, young man. That's a big insurance run out there at Sega Mace. Just a nice level swing, not trying to do too much. Head down, hips closed, hands back. That's the way you want to drill it into the corner. It's his first career four hit game. And with this approach, he has many more to come. Then I'll bring up Austin Wells. He could use a base hit right now. Man to ply deals and well swings in lines that hit the freaking mound, or it might have went through. 
Wells gets Volpe to third with two outs. Wells is retired. And then I'll bring up Oswaldo Cabrera. Cabrera had some big at-bats in Houston late in the game. This is another big one. There's a big run sitting out there at third base. Yankees trying to get that run back that they gave up in the seventh. Cabrera is one for three. He is eight for 19 on the season with an RBI. Batting from the right side this time. Cabrera rips it just foul. Bluegrass, thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Brilly, brilly, brother. Good, good thing to see one of the New York teams doing well. So far, so good. Well, I mean, the Rangers are doing really well. The Rangers are the best team in hockey. Rangers are the best. The Rangers are doing really well. The Knicks are good, too. The Knicks are third in the East. A lot, of, a lot of New York teams are doing good. The Mets aren't. I know what you're talking about. The Mets are. The Mets, you're a Mets fan. The Mets are struggling. I know what you're saying. Oh, one. And Cabrera pops it up. Right field of McCarthy under it makes the catch, and that will retire the side. So Volpe's double goes to waste. No runs, one hit, one left. Played seven and a half. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Five, two, Yanks. I got to imagine Luke Weaver is done. I got to imagine they're going to go to the pen here with Birdie, and I think they want to finish it off with Ian Hamilton. I think that's the way they're going to do this. Yeah, when Dominguez comes back, Dan, it, it, this lineup could be really scary with that lot of young talent. Why didn't you do it last year, D-Rod? Different hitting coach, different approach. Different approach, for sure. That's why. It, Irish, it really is a Met thing. I, I say it all the time, that the Mets will Met, the Jets will Jet. They can make all the right moves. It never works out for the Mets. Never. And I always say, I have no issue with the Mets. If the, if the Mets are in the playoffs and the Yankees aren't, I root for the Mets. I don't have any hate for the Mets. They play in the same city as the Yankees, but they're not the Yankees' rival. I mean, the Mets have been in a World Series more recently than the Yankees have. I can't believe it's been 15 freaking years since the Yankees have been in a damn World Series. I can't believe it. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B. I guess bluegrass. I I don't know what the uh, what the Mets deal is. Um. By the way, I uh, I asked about the uh, I asked about the Super Friends like doing a doing a super friend stream for the draft. And I don't think it's going to happen. Sucks, man. I tried. But I, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Unfortunately. So the bottom of the eighth, Five eight and one for the Yankees, two three and two for the Diamondbacks. Weaver is still out there for the Yankees. I don't get it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Nick Birdie. My bad. It said Weaver at the top of the screen. I was like, that didn't look like Weaver. Pitch upstairs. Pitch has been a strike all night, but this time Van over decides it's a ball. 2-0, Walker, Peterson, Suarez, 4-5, and 6 to meet the order for the D-backs. Two zero in there for a strike. There is Susie Waldman. Waldman and Sterling have been a... I suppose John Sterling's doing the game. John Sterling doesn't normally go on the road trips anymore. Normally it's Ryan Rucco. 2-1. Swung on a miss, blew a fastball right by him. Said, here it is, hit it. And he didn't. The count is 0-2. I'm sorry, 2-2. Two two. 
Bottom of the eighth, Yanks up 5-2, looking for their fifth win of the season. They're going to start a perfect 5-0. and Nick Birdie's set at the belt, the burly righty. He kicks and he deals. Swung and a miss. Strike three. He gone. Take a grab some wood there, bub. One out here in the bottom of the eighth. That'll bring up Jacques Peterson. Jacques. He is over one. He's walked twice. His last walk was BS. He was actually struck out. Pitch. And that one's upstairs. Count one and oh. Five two Yanks. One out. Nobody on bottom of the eighth. Nick Birdie on there trying to get a hold. The righty deals the one oh. And Peterson takes a swing and fouls it. Right side and out of play. Left side and out of play, rather. Bluegrass, thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, my friend. Really, really, really. Thank you for being a friend. To be honest, nothing against those guys, but I throw my support to you and Lou. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, brother. Appreciate that very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support, man. I just wish we could get it together again, man. I miss I miss doing that, man. I love I love that stream with those guys. It's just so much fun. I like listening to Louie and, and Lord Brunson go out. Well, me and Law were just <laughs> one, two, swung on and fouled away. I'm not giving up hope though. I'm I'm hoping someday we can do it again. The channel's still there. So the channel's not defunct. But I only know their name, Dan, because Dashy told me. Otherwise, I wouldn't know it. The one, two. A slider. He got away with one there. Peterson fouled the back. Right down the middle. Count one and two. I only know it's Vanover because Dashy told me. The only guys I really know are Angel Hernandez because he's like the worst umpire in the history of umpires. And C.B. Buckner. Like, other than that, I don't really know the umps. Dashy usually tells me who the ump is. That's why I know. One, two. Swung on and hit in the air to center field. Judge in front of the track makes the catch, and there's two away. Yankee Solar Eclipse. <laughs> Yankee Solar Eclipse Day t shirt. Uh, are they playing in the Eclipse? <laughs> By the way, if you're in upstate New York, and you see, do not look at that. You'll blind yourself. Do not look at the eclipse. Pitch. There's special glasses you can look at it. We used to, I remember being in like earth science. You can make it with like a box and a pinhole or whatever. Do not look at that because you will blind yourself, man. The sun rays will still get in your eyes, even though the, whatever, the moon covers the sun. You'll blind yourself looking at that. Don't do that. Do not look at that eclipse. The 01. It's low and outside one on ones. That's a little bit of advice. Don't don't look at it. You'll you'll destroy your eyes. Don't look directly at it. I mean, you can see it, peripheral vision. Don't look directly at it. It's like looking directly into the sun. You don't want to do that. One one. In there for a strike. One two. Of course, if you live in New York, you Probably won't see the sun anyway, so it really doesn't matter. We all know the sun doesn't shine here until May. It'll be a one-two pitch. Swung and fouled away. Suarez staying alive. Eugenio Suarez is over three tonight. The Yankees lead five to two. Two out somebody on bottom of the eighth. I got to imagine Ian Hamilton is the guy in the ninth for the Yanks. Unless the Yankees get a couple of insurance runs. Birdie set steals. Whoa. That one was a little bit up, a little bit, a uh, little bit up and in. It's a bit outside. It's actually inside, but we, you get the point. Get the point. Yeah. 
It'll be a choo-choo pitch from Bernie De Suarez. Bernie set out the chest, gets the sign. The righty kicks and deals outside three and two. It'll be a payoff pitch. Got to make him put it in play. And that's exactly what he does. Fly ball, foul territory. Rizzo under it, makes the catch. And that will retire the side. Good inning for Birdie and the Yanks. The Diamondbacks go one, two, three in their half of the eighth. We'll go to the top of the ninth. I think he's three outs away from winning their fifth in a row. They lead five to two. Yes, do not. Irish Rover's right. Do not look at the Eclipse with sunglasses. Do not look at it. it you can it can blind you. I'm, I'm being dead serious. I'm not. I'm not messing around. It's not April Fool's Day anymore. Here it's April second. It can blind you. Don't look directly at the Eclipse. If you're driving, you don't look directly into the sun. You look in front of you. I'm not saying you can't look. You can't look directly at the sun. I'm not saying you can't go outside. It's just like if the sun is shining. If you're driving, you don't look at the sun while you're driving. You, you're not looking at your window going, oh, let me look right into the sun. I'm saying don't look directly at it. You can go outside and just don't look directly at the eclipse. You can walk around and can do whatever you want. You can look at it. You can glance at it. Just don't stare at it. It's like, like I said, like the sun. You get a glimpse of it. You look away. It's just when you look into the sun, it hurts your eyes quick. So you move away from it. You look at it with the eclipse. It ain't going to hurt your eyes, but those rays are going to burn your retina. So don't, don't stare directly at the eclipse. Trust me when I tell you. Research it. Hit the like, hit the subscribing, the bell. Let's go. Bluegrass, thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Are you 49 on April 1st or April 2nd? Because I don't know where you are. If you're in Louisville, you're an hour behind me. So you're a year older than me. So we're the same age, pretty much. It was it April 1st? Because if you're April 1st, first of all, everybody say happy birthday to another legend king of the bluegrass. But if you are on April 1, oh my God, bluegrass and dire giants fan have the same freaking birthday. See this? Legends. You know how great minds think alike? I guess legends, great legends are born on the same day. Luis Frias in there. Fifth pitcher for the Diamondbacks. Let's see if the Yankees can get a couple of runs here. How about that, though? Bluegrass and Dire Giants fan, the same birthday. That is pretty amazing. Pitch is lined. I mean, Torres ripped a shot, but right at the shortstop, and there's one away. Torres now two for five. It's the top of the order for the Yanks. Glaber, Soto, and Judge. I need somebody to hit a home run. I need somebody to hit a home run. How do you feel about the starts? I mean, they weren't overpowering, but with this lineup, Dan, if the pitching can just keep them in the game like they did with Houston, you see that the lineup, you, this lineup is going to be able to score some runs. So if those guys are just average to above average. They're going to be fine. As long as they can hold down the fort till Garrett Cole comes back, we'll be okay. I thought they did. I thought they did a good job. Soto took a strike. Soto is the pitch was very low. Soto is not enamored with this guy's strike zone at all. Soto has been. Soto needs to hit one to the moon. Soto needs to hit one to the eclipse. Boone said, "Low, it's low." That was the same pitch. You called that one a ball. The counts one and one. Soto is over three. You walk to the front. I'm not used to Soto not getting a hit. Pitch. Soto takes upstairs and the counts two and one. 
One out, nobody on top of the ninth. The Yankees five, Diamondbacks two. Free as deals the Soto, low and in, three and one. Judge waits on deck. I guess it's two and one. I it is three and one. Thank you for updating that. Yes. Soto needs a zone to pitch and just hit one into the pool. Hit one into the pool. And he's not even gonna get a chance. The ball bounced up there. 54 footer there. Soto flips his bat in disgust. Padres general manager on Juan Soto. Every at bat with Juan is an absolute war. It's a battle whether your team is winning by 10 runs. He's still treating every pitch like it's game. Seven of the World Series. That's 162 games, 600 of bats. It's special trait. I think the Yankees will feed off that to see someone who treats every pitch like that. You'd love to hear it. You'd love to hear it. Uh, Bluegrass, thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Can Aura protect you? They can't protect you from the eclipse, but they can protect you from identity theft. They can protect you from data brokers selling your information to scammers and spammers. They can give you a VPN, but they can't protect you from looking at the eclipse. That they can't do. Or it can do a lot of things for a lot of good things, but they can't do that. Common sense has to do that. Good stop there by uh, Marino. Holds Soto at first. Soto on the first one out. Top of the ninth. The Yankees looking for some insurance here. I would love Judge to hit one to dead center. I haven't been able to do my Bob Felician. What up, Jared? Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell. Top of the ninth. The Yankees looking for some extra runs. 1-0. Judge, big cut and a miss. Count 1-1. That was a good pitch there by Frias. The ball dove down and in on Judge. He swung over the top. 5-2 Yanks. Freas about to deal the 1-1. One, one. The righty is set of the belt. He kicks, he deals, and Judge takes up and away, and the count's 2-1. and one. Now, Soto doesn't have a lot of speed. This is always a good hit-and-run count. Joe Torre used to, used to love to run 2-1. and one. But I don't think Soto is that guy that's going to steal. Pitch! And Judge going to hit a double play. 6-4-3-3. Judge has done that a lot in the early season. Another double play for Aaron Judge. That wipes away the runner at first. No runs, no hits because of the double play. Nobody left. We've played eight and a half. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth. The Yankees three outs away from winning their fifth in a row to start the season. Damn it. I got to imagine Ian Hamilton is going to pitch. Uh, I have to imagine. A lot of legendary birthdays in April. Dire Giants fan, King of the Bluegrass. Mrs. Bad Dog, Little Bad Dog. April. April is a good month. April is a busy month for me. Not as busy as July. July is God Almighty. July is a... Uh, July is a whirlwind of stuff. My birthday is in July. My mom's birthday is in July. My anniversary is in July. My sister-in-law's birthday is in July. <laughs> a lot of, lot of July stuff. Yeah. 12.34, so I'm, I'm starting to feel the effects. Come on, Yanks. Ugh. It'll be the bottom of the order here for the Diamondbacks. Marino, McCarthy, Perdomo. Kremily. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a... 
big freaking it's a big fudge like a big fudge pop or big ice cream uh whatever those things are the vanilla ice cream things no victor gonzalez is gonna come in to pitch for the yankees maybe ian hamilton is hurt i i don't really understand why victor gonzalez is out there to close this out So Victor Gonzalez will face the bottom of the order. Marino swings at the first pitch and pops it up. Rizzo in foul territory, back in fair territory, makes the catch. One away here in the ninth. Bluegrass, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, brother. I want to like that super chat. There we go. Thank you for being brave. Somebody asked me that the other day. So my son... He doesn't really like wrestling, right? He doesn't really care about the guys. He doesn't care about any of that stuff. He likes the female Royal Rumble. He likes the woman's Royal Rumble. That's really all he likes. He won't watch a guy's Royal Rumble. He won't watch the guys wrestle. He just likes watching the girls wrestle. So when the Royal Rumble comes on, he will always want to watch the girls. It's like his favorite thing. He watches the old female Royal Rumble like all the time. He watches all the girls Royal Rumbles, Battle Royals. He just likes all the girls in the ring at the same time. 1-0, swung on a miss. A little fastball right by him as Barossa's up there, pinch hitting. So, yeah, he's not really doesn't really care about WrestleMania. He just likes the Royal Rumble. Maybe as he gets older, that'll change. But if there was a female Battle Royal or a Royal Rumble, you know, whatever, uh, he would definitely watch that, but he's, yeah, it's just that that's really his thing for wrestling. One, one swung on and hit in the air to the gap. And that's going to get down and bounce into the seats. So a one on double here for Barossa. Yeah, Nick, I haven't watched, I haven't watched wrestling. I bet you. In t- I mean, at least 17 years. Like I would say after a stone cold retire, like I, I didn't watch it religiously. Like I started to get away from wrestling. I'd say 2004. I started to kind of move away from it where I was really loyal to it from like 1997 to 2002. Like I watched it every week and, and, and then I started to kind of get bored with it and I just moved away from it and I haven't watched it at all. I just watched it. That, that pitch is a strike. All night that pitch has been a strike, and he calls it a ball. But I I do love watching the Royal Rumble with my son just because he, he loves watching the, the girls' Royal Rumble. It'll be a 1-0 to Perdomo. Pitch by Gonzalez is fouled away, and the count's 1-1. Diamondback's aggressive here. Barros is on its second with one out in the bottom of the ninth. The Yankees with a three-run lead. One one swung on and popped up Rizzo in foul territory. Now back at fair territory makes the catch. And there's two away. I don't know who you are, Rich, but don't ever tell me uh what how to raise my son. Bye. You don't even have kids. So don't don't ever don't ever come in here and tell me what to what to do with my son. Don't ever do that again. Disrespectful piece of shit. You're a nobody, bro. Go back to your mom's basement where you belong. You don't count in life. You don't count. Pitch in there for a strike. Count as 0-1. I guarantee you my kid has already got more money in his account than you do, Rich. My kid at seven years old is more successful than you'll ever be in your life. Ball's grounded. Uh, uh, Cabrera throws on the first, and that will reach out of side. Yankees win the game by the score of 5-2 to two there. 5-0, oh, baby. Over. Yankees win. Yankees win. So the Yankees improved to 5-0. Oh. It's the fifth time since 1927 that they've been 5-0. and oh. They scored five runs really early, and they kind of held on to win. The Diamondbacks had a couple guys on. They had some opportunities, but they were not able to take advantage. 
of it. And the Yankees couldn't get off to a better start, man. Five and oh, uh, this was pretty, pretty awesome. No home runs for the Yankees. I wish we had a couple of home runs. That would have been awesome. I didn't get to do that call. But, you know, we're going to do more Yankee games during the season. So we will be back and there will be somebody hitting a home run um, without question. So, you know, we'll definitely be back for that. No, no question about it. No question about it. No question about it. We'll be back um, to do it all. Back to do it all. But I'll be live for the Lakers tomorrow. We can get rid of this now. I'll be live for the Lakers tomorrow as they take on the uh, Toronto Raptors. And yes, I do plan on doing some games with Pete um, as well. No question about it. So 5-0 and oh, Yanks. Gotta love it. I'm going to get out of here, get some sleep, and I got to get up in five hours for work as normally. But thank you guys for hanging on. I always love uh, calling Yankee baseball games, and I look forward to doing that a lot during the summer. And I hope you guys and girls will tune in for that. Anyway, the final score again, the Yankees 5, the Diamondbacks 2. Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you next time, and uh, I'm gone. <laughs>